What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. All right, good morning everybody. It is Friday, uh, April 12th, 7.12 a.m. So here we have Manor Lords. And before I start, big shout out, thank you so much Hooded Horse, the publisher of Manor Lords. For giving me access to this game early in advance in the first wave of um i guess early access review keys so today's stream we're going to be able to check out mana lords the embargo lifted uh, about 12 minutes ago everyone's really excited for this uh so yes mana lords is the number one most wishlisted game on steam highly anticipated and fun fact uh, this game is actually made by one developer. Um, Slavic Magic, I believe, is the name of his uh, development uh, company. So yeah, I uh, been I got access to this a few days ago, and I've been playing it um, off stream, off recording. I was originally going to do a recording of the game and then post it on my YouTube as a drop, but I figured, you know, it's much more fun to actually stream this and show it to you guys while I'm playing. You guys can have questions and you might want to have answers. So uh, let's do this, right? So uh, let's see here. I've already made all the setting tweaks. You can take a look at my settings. So I did a coverage of this game about a year and a half ago, a little bit more than a year and a half ago um, for a Steam Next Fest, October 20. 22 and at the time and my bot is actually up on my youtube channel the at the time the game i wasn't really impressed with the game to be honest because it felt like every other city builder uh after having played farthest frontier i was like okay this is not any better or, or interesting with the exception of maybe the combat uh the 4x grand uh, conquer style of the other maps but that wasn't in the game at the time right so i can't really assess that uh but now it is available the combat is available and you can actually take on other territories so this is really exciting now the thing that also why i wasn't impressed at the time was because the game was super super laggy and you actually can see that uh, in my original demo playthrough. Since then, the game actually has improved a lot, but I will also disclose that because of this game, or the demo, it actually prompted me to buy a brand new computer and upgraded my video card. So I do have a, a newer video card than I did then. Uh, it's an AMD. And so here are my graphic settings. Uh, one of the things I can tell you is it does hum a little bit. Uh, so these are the settings that I've I've actually worked out that makes it reasonably playable. Uh, my graphics card is not the top of the line, and I do feel that I don't have the best because it really doesn't do this game justice. This game is beautiful. The art, the the visuals, walking around um, is absolutely amazing, and. I had to tone down some of these settings so I can stream it to you guys. So keep that in mind. Uh, all right, so I, I'm not using, you know, a DLSS because that's NVIDIA related. The FSR is for the AMD. So that's why I have that setting. Uh, it's also important to set this at 60 frame rate during my testing and, and talking to other content creators they also found that setting it to 60 really helps a lot because they were also having trouble uh somebody also was doing a recording and their computer melted or something and they had to stop recording uh completely because they lost like a couple of um hours worth of recording because they had their the wrong settings or whatever so yeah it's i do want to point that out this is not a review this is gameplay uh footage there is a review embargo which will lift on um, April 24th. The game is coming out on April 26th into early access. So keep that in mind. We will probably see bugs. Um, a lot of the content creators, myself included, 
were among the first to report some of the bugs and the feedbacks associated to the game. I will go over some of those with you guys so that you guys can be on the lookout for it. Um, it's not terribly bad. One of them was pretty bad, and then the other one was kind of just annoying. Uh, but overall, it does not take away the fact that this game is actually pretty fun and amazing to play. So, all right, so let's see here. I've got audio sets. I wish they would add in the feature to enable audio while playing the background. So what will happen is if I ever switch to a BRB message or interact with you with chat, for example, like this, the audio will get cut off. So that's because my mouse is clicking on a separate window or not focus on the window. So it's really strange that that's not there. So it is kind of noticeable, but uh, I gave feedback on that. All right, so let's go back. Um, let's go ahead and do a new game. We're going to call ourselves. Now, this here hasn't changed, so he hasn't actually added any new um, portraits. But that could change in the, the final. All right, so I'm going to go with the blue. Uh, so here we just basically create a little, you know, a coat of arms crescent. Uh, how do I want to do this for today's run? Let's go with, um, let's go with the barrels, right? The barrels. I think that should be okay. Yeah, let's go with the barrels. Number of instances, one, scale, one, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can do other things too, right? Just design it. I'm, I'm just pretty straightforward on this one, so let's go do that. You know what? I don't want to... I don't want that dude. I want this dude. Reminds me of the guy from the Iron Man movie. Iron Man 1 or something like that. Oh, uh, not that color. Barrels, right? So, golden barrels. I don't think we can change the color of the barrels, though, right? I don't think... You, oh, yeah, you can change the color of the barrels. You're right. You can change the color of barrels, yeah. Let's go with the golden barrels. Good suggestion, Lunchbox. Golden barrels. Yeah, nice. Let's go. All right, so in this next screen of the setup, there's three different scenario types that you can choose. And it says more coming soon. AI city building is still under works, right? This is the early access map. So I'm guessing that there may be other maps to choose from. So what I'm gathering, though, is that the terrain itself or the sorry, the, the map itself, I think the the regions are probably predetermined, but it is procedurally generated in terms of the where the resources are located and I think how the trees are arranged. So it is it is pretty re or very replayable because I actually did multiple runs of this. All right, so on the left here, the scenario templates um, rise to prosperity premise. Fulfill the requirements of your citizens plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat. So this looks like a more easy um, scenario setup, right? I'm, I'm guessing that this is more of a in range of difficulty based on when I was playing. So victory condition here is reach the large town settlement level. After that, you may choose to continue in the endless mode, right? So at least there's a victory condition, which is I like. I like games that have victory condition. And it's nice that there is a large town, you know, settlement victory condition here. So as far as this frontier, it's kind of like, hey, and, and you'll hear me compare this to Farthest Frontier a lot, because I actually enjoy Farthest Frontier, and I like it. Um, and I also compared it at the time when I played. Um, but yeah, Farthest Frontier doesn't have a victory condition or an endgame, and a lot of people just set their own goals. And it's mostly whenever your graphics card explodes, because you can't handle the population count anymore, because it lags so much. So here, at least once you hit a victory condition, you can continue to play endlessly still. Um, so that's nice. Okay, so restoring the peace premise. Two territories in the north are claimed by an illegit illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. 
Bandit camps resides, uh, reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the Baron for the Northern Territories. Conquer every region. So the victory condition here is conquer every region. And then over here, the on the edge premise, row your city and uh, raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are uh, pestered by raiders and undefended uh, settlements will quickly perish and undefended settlements will quickly perish, right? Survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement level. So this kind of reminds me of I didn't get I didn't actually test this one. This kind of reminds me of they are billion style and it's also a lot of farthest frontier because you get raided. Uh, and so in addition to getting raided, you also have to get to the large town as a survival. All right. So down here, though, um, you can change the difficulty as well. So these are map scenarios. Now, one of the things I noticed is the end goal. I can't I didn't get to to see what the difference is between domination and conquest, because the game does take a bit to build up. So I was not able to do both of these settings, but eliminate all the other lords by claiming their territory. But here it's got conquest, claim all regions to win. So I'm not quite sure what the difference between the conquest, right? And the domination, because that sounds exactly the same to me. Maybe there is a little difference, but we'll find out. Um, Right. All right. So here are the other things. So I'm going to scroll through this, but I'm not going to walk through all this. So you guys, if you want to pause and look at this, you can. Um, just, you know, uh, starting settings, making it easier, less starting supplies. Um, arm armament, armament delivery. So whenever you reach the uh, first uh, level, you can you'll you'll actually get a free set of weapons to start off with to, to defend your town. Right now, this is only if you um, you reach that, uh, I think that storehouse, right? After a free, a free weapon delivery for militia as soon as the player builds a storehouse and five residential plots. So you have to meet that condition before you get like a free delivery of weapons. Re uh, residential requirements is balanced, approval ratings medium, or ground underwater is enabled, weather event, uh, events are balanced, yes, okay. Uh, players may only place wells on top of underground uh, wells, right? Unconstrained, right? Okay, so there is a there's an overlay that shows you where all the underground water is, and you have to place your well kind of roughly near that to actually get the water. Um, so that's also present in Farthest Frontier. Uh, I believe this takes away the AI, um, the the bandit camps, right? Yeah, and this just makes it harder. So the difference between this one and this one is the number of raiders that's free free per year, right? And random banning camps will um, can't spawns limits. No, just free raiders per year. So free raiders basically is how much how much of a wiggle room you get before the raiders start attacking you, right? So if you don't choose this, the raiders will, will can attack you early in the first year. This is kind of like a cooldown period, right? So that's the difference between we're going to go with the default and I'm going to go with the middle setting, restoring the peace, which is conquer every region. Um, I don't know. If we're going to finish it today. Obviously, this may be a couple of playthroughs. We may end up restarting a couple of runs uh, and messing around with this. Let's go ahead and begin. But yeah, wow. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for hanging out today. So yeah, game absolutely beautiful, and I'll show you. All right, so first message. Let me pause this too. Oops. Uh, victory condition, dominance, build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by other opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for, for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Uh, claim all opponents' regions is the objective. Let me pause this first. All right. So in Manor Lords, uh, families need food and fuel and a and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel above 
shows how much you've got left. So what's this here is alerting us as to this barrel over here. Right, that's the reason why I kind of picked the barrels, because like you're gonna have to look at this a lot of times. Right, to keep track of how much food you have. So the game here is so the question that you guys are gonna ask is do food spoil? Right? Food does not technically spoil. There is kind of sort of a a spoil a mechanic in in the game. It's it's um whenever the uh, fuel or sorry the whenever the your storage is maxed out you will actually have weather damage and then weather damage destroys um all your supplies not just the food so make sure that you have enough sort of capacity if your your food ever reaches maximum it will actually start um i guess uh, getting spoiled so so that is the spoilage mechanic i'm still not sure about that yet um i guess in some ways it's good but i do feel that it might be um, slightly, uh, I guess, exploitative, right? If you actually could just spam more storage and stay ahead of the, the storage capacity. So long as you stay ahead of the storage capacity, you can actually stock up uh, almost unlimited food, right? Uh, Farthest Frontier, as a comparison, they actually have food spoilage. And I kind of like a little bit of this food spoilage mechanic because it also gives you um, some sort of challenge. But again... You know, when I actually played the demo uh, a year and a half ago, I actually lost because twice because it was very difficult and people did starve to death. So this may be fine. I don't know. Um, at least so far, I've managed to survive successfully. All right. So along the top, I'll also walk this through for, for you. The top bar. If you can, you guys see this or no? But yeah. Anyways, uh, if not, I'll try to see if I can increase the the UI. Uh, I think there is a UI scaling. All right, so on the top left here is the unassigned icon. So unassigned is families without an assignment will work on construction, including the ox, uh, inclu including guiding uh, the ox to transport timber. You you get one ox at the uh, at, at the start of every run, which is here. Right, it shows you you get one ox. All right, so the other one is assigned. So how many families are assigned to whatever job? So this game also reminds me of another game that a lot of people don't know about or have played or heard of. It's called Lords and Villains. Um, even though Villains is, it's it's actually pronounced Villains. Uh, some people call it Villain, but it's actually Villains. And it's spelled with a um, E-I-G-N, not uh, A-L-L or a B I L L A I N, like everyone's uh, thinking of the villain, like a bad guy, right? But it's pronounced similar to villain, the bad guy, but it's spelled differently. Uh, so that game, Lords and Villains, has a mechanic where you assign an entire family to a job, and that family will then take care of everything related to that uh, in terms of selling the goods to the market for you. So that is very similar to that one game that I played, and that one game is has a lot of uh, RimWorld-like mechanics. So check that game out, by the way, if you uh, if you haven't heard of it. Uh, so here's the living space. Uh, burger, burger, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's not burger. Um, burgage, right? So the pronunciation here is burgage. And the reason why is I had this word burgage, burgerage on my mind was one of the content creator, Renee Sky, who is now working at Hooded Horse, was saying that she did her recording for the game. She started calling it Burgerage, and then she had to redo her whole recording because she kept mispronouncing it after realizing it. So it's Burgage. Burgage is the plots. Um, so I'll, I'll walk over that in a little bit here because that is a mechanic that I saw. The only other game that's got that mechanic was Fable Them, and I'll tell I'll talk about that in a little bit. Total population, right now I have a total population of 10, a total of 5 families, which is this right here. So the families will have other family members that will help out working on that particular thing that you assign them to. Approval rating is uh, currently at 50 when there's no modifiers. Uh, this can change based on whether they have a food variety um, or if they are homeless or not. So you want to make sure that everyone is not homeless and they have food variety. So you will get population growth. So new families will want to join you. 
uh, your town when you actually have 50 or higher. So that's that's something you want to keep in mind. If you can maintain 50 or higher, that's only when you'll get new people to join. All right, so here is the public order. Uh, governs the chance of crime occurring as well as citizens permanently turning into banditory. Bandit, banditory. Uh, so this is the regional wealth. Okay, so here this is actually the wealth of, of your villagers. Money that's owned by the villagers. So the, like I said in that... I mentioned that lords and vill uh, villains, the villagers get their money. And it's also similar to Norland. I just recently streamed Norland a couple of weeks ago, and the villagers have their own sort of money. This is how, um, I guess, the money is distributed, and you can spend that money for them, right? Uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit, how that works. Which is separate from your treasury. This is your money, and you use your money to hire mercenaries, but you can't use the regional wealth forcing your villagers to to spend that on mercenaries. But you can spend this on what they they do with their backyard, and I'll show you that mechanic in a little bit. So livestock, I've already pointed that out to you, and this is how many months of supplies left. We have enough food uh, for four months and fuel. So what's going to happen is if I only have um, if I have low fuel. And it does require fuel consumption. So when fuel consumption is one, this supply number is going to switch over to four, or one month, even though I have food for four months. So this number is based on how much supply uh, with the minimum counts of whatever you have. So let's say I have like a ton of fuel and they are consuming it, but I only have like one month of food. Then the, this count will, will, will be based on the, the, the lowest between the two. Um, and then here you've got your, your other resources. I'll just scroll over this really briefly so you guys can actually see it. These are the raw resources. All right, and the, this is the weapons right here. You can actually toggle this, and it it changes based on um, what's uh, stored. I don't know. Sometimes it's, this is a little weird because sometimes it changes based on like whenever I build something. Um, so I'm still not quite sure if there's a way to do a, a UI or a hotkey, because sometimes I would, would like to see more detailed breakups of certain things. Um, King's Favor can be used for diplomatic purposes, including pressing and refuting claims. Influences require for diplomacy and pressing claims. Uh, this allows us to be able to do claims on, of the territory can be gained from raise the, uh, the settlement level, enacting policies and conquering bandits and upgrading your churches and manors. And this is annual royal tax, uh, no tax to be paid. So I'm guessing that when we do have a, a king, we have to pay to the king. Uh, right now we don't have that scenario or condition. I didn't play far enough for this to actually make a difference. So here you can actually click on this and then you can rename it. So let's go ahead and rename our our region. This is uh, the Empire. All right, and then let me close this. So here you can choose. Let me close this. So here you can once you get like a certain development points, you actually can choose. This is kind of like a technology tree, and here I had zero points. So you can, you can decide like which way you want to go on this technology tree. I'm not going to read all of this until we get to it. Policies. Once you have like, you know, new policies, you can choose which one to sign. So a lot of this also reminds me of Frostpunk, where you'll have like, you know, uh, some sort of policy that you need to choose and decide how your villagers will act according to, to the policy that you set. And then production, I've actually asked other creators too to see. I d this is blank. This should be saying something like work in progress. Uh, no one that I know of said they got anything. They got and they got pretty far further than I did. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's nothing here, so this might should kind of say work in progress or something. All right. So when you first uh, start, you want to pause your game, and then you want to look at your map region. Oh man, I got actually a crappy location. Oh Jesus, I got a really crappy hand here. Before, in my, um, almost all my playthroughs, I actually got the top left corner here. 
It was a very nice large region too, and I actually enjoyed this particular area. Uh, but okay, so that's fine. We are now here in this section. And we'll have to deal with that. This view shows which regions are under whose control. You can press claims to other regions when you gain enough influence. Okay, I got it. And so uh, to do this, I, I just did a zoom out with my mouse wheel. And moving around the screen is ASWD. Um, and so you want to take a look at where you're at. And then you can zoom in again closer. And then you can take a look at what you have on the map in terms of resources. And so this will kind of give you an idea of, or planning wise, you should take a look at your resources. So you can plan where you want to place your your main town. Or your, where you want to start developing. So here, okay, the crown basically indicates rich deposit, right? So I have a lot of stones as rich deposit. And here I have a lot of iron as rich deposit. Wild animals is 20. And the most I've got here is berry deposit, which is 64. Um, so, you know, this is not bad. I would have preferred maybe more of this. Because this is kind of useful for food and also getting hide. Iron deposit being uh, being rich is very, very good. Uh, berry's not as a big deal. It might be a big deal early on, but later, once you start farming, uh, this kind of kind of goes away. It's not that big of a deal. But it does add food variety. So I'm going to zoom in. And I'm using the middle mouse button, by the way, to do the camera change, like rotating and tilting and everything. So you can actually zoom in to the very, very low level and see like all the details. Like it's just amazing seeing the, the details of all the workers. So that's my starting uh, point. But you want you don't have to be there, right? And one of the things I've learned is that look for where your resources are because that's where you're going to be permanently moving back and forth. Hmm. So I'm going to probably go somewhere near here because I want to be around this area. And the other thing you want to look at too, at the start, is where the water. Um, underground water overlay is. Water is fairly accessible, so it's not a big deal. Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. So this should have kind of popped up early in the game um, when, you, when you get that message. That's why I immediately paused because if you didn't know what the hell you're doing and you're lapsing the time and you start your construction over here and then suddenly this comes up and you're like, oh wait, I should probably should have started my map or town over here. Uh, yeah, this this should have given us that tip early on, early on. So that's why I did that little walkthrough about look, look at where your resource is and then decide where you want to ultimately place your, your setup, your initial setup. All right, so here, let's go with fertility. So right here in the middle is probably a good area. Where's the green? Oh man, this map doesn't have any green. Oops. For the, uh, for the flax, right? Flax is usually used for clothing or whatever, right? Weaving. Barley? We don't have a whole lot of barley. Yeah, this really sucks. I'm on a really bad location. Rye is good. We got a lot of rye here. My other playthrough didn't have a lot of rye. Smell is a work in progress. Fire hazards work in progress. Okay. All right. So somewhere along here is not bad. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I think, I'm, think, I'm thinking about maybe this area here might be good, so let's do that. Um, so one of the things I'll do then is I want to set up my my roads. 
roads and carts. Some workplaces allow villagers to use hand carts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a hand cart off road is extremely slow. So make sure to connect your buildings to roads, right? So they will, they will walk off. Um, so yeah, somewhere along here is fine. Let's go with that. I'm gonna go with this one first. I'm gonna do a... Yeah, you can actually do whatever you want with the roads. It's not grid-based, it's very organic. I just like to still always do straight roads and always kind of build my thing as most efficiently as possible. All right. And then berries, right? I think the berries are over here. That's fine. Let me go establish a nice little road here. And roads are free and it's instantaneous. go ahead and start my lumber camp actually first before I do the food. So let me do something like like this. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. Alright, so the okay, on the side families work on construction automatically. Yeah, I already know that. So here's the other thing too that I want to point out. What's interesting? Uh, timber transportation, yeah, sure. Uh, timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the oxen when they need it. So apparently the logs are really heavy, so you need the ox to move the log. Uh, and they'll share the same ox between uh, different uh, buildings that need it. All right, so in uh, Farthest Frontier, in a lot of games, or some games, some games, uh, the resources that you have... Uh, on the screen will get deleted if you actually place your buildings. So for example, the trees here, when I place that little logging camp, it actually will remove and delete the trees and you don't actually get that tree to use. And I don't really, that part of the game, I'm not too sure if I like that because that's not, everything else in the game is realistic, but for some reason that does not feel realistic. You actually lose your trees and technically you can exploit the game by building a uh, placing a bunch of buildings down and just clearing out an entire forest um or or accidentally or whatever the case is right and then hitting the demolish button before anything's actually delivered there and so that's kind of cheesy uh way of removing things and so i'm not quite sure how i feel about that but as i mentioned farthest frontier is different where if you place your town hall or whatever building you place the workers will go there and they'll chop the tree and they'll leave the tree on the ground. And so you're not actually lose anything. Uh, Gord actually behaves differently. It's uh, Gord's kind of like this. If you place uh, buildings down in Gord, right, it actually will remove those resources on the map. So you're losing resources when you do that. So be careful where you place it. I decided to just go ahead and place it here because I wanted to be close to this. Uh, but I, I, I'm aware of the fact that placing it right here, I lost a bunch of trees. And you will actually get that information when you when you roll your mouse over this. So for example, um, see see how it says tree trees uprooted for construction. I'm losing three trees if I decide to place that there. And I don't actually loot I don't get that. Now this is again, okay, so keep in mind this is early access or pre-early access. So when we start playing players might give feedback to the developer and say hey you know we really should have uh trees uh being on the ground i i, I actually know why they're not doing that and I'll, I'll i'll point that out in a little bit because it's it's this is the probably the most annoying thing about the game or the bug related to the game and i'll, I'll, I'll tell you that in a little bit why uh and i can understand why they don't put trees on the ground um but yeah so when you when you place a building it will actually tell you what you're losing when you do that right 
that says like, oh, you're going to lose like 12 or 10 trees if you put the log here. You will lose that. You actually don't get it. Uh, so you start off, I believe, with eight timber. All right, so let's go ahead and do that first. And then I'm going to connect all my resources here. It's fine. At least they give you a prompt saying, here's what you'll lose if you place it, giving you the opportunity to exploit that region first. Right, yes. At least it actually tells you what you're going to lose, um, rather than, you know, not telling you at all, because sometimes I'll move my cursor over something, and bam, I place it, and I didn't realize, oh, it, it affected losing the tree, or whatever it is, right? So yes, at least they they tell you. So that is kind of nice, but I don't I don't like that mechanic. I would rather retain the resources that I'm losing or that I shouldn't be losing, right? How do you like the game so far? Well, the past few days I've played, I actually do enjoy um, playing this game. It's it's fantastic. I was that this is the game that I was talking to you guys about like a few days ago when I, while I was streaming against the storm. I was like, oh, sorry for having no stream, but I had to play whatever other game. I couldn't tell you what game I was playing. This was the game I, I had been playing off stream. Um, now, I so the difference between review and uh, embargoes on reviews and gameplay, right? This is all gameplay. Uh, I can do gameplay footage and gameplay, long play, let's play, whatever it is. Uh, review is anything giving it, it a rating. So I cannot give you a rating like, oh, this game is like 8 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 or 1 out of 10. They That is embargoed until April 24th. So if you're asking for like my review or my rating of the game, I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to give you my observations and game mechanics and playing the game and what I like and don't like. But it's not necessarily a review score of some sort, right? So no ratings and no review scores. In most cases, resources and mana lords have to be physically moved. It can take uh, a moment, so feel free to change the game speed if you feel like it. Game speed controls are at the bottom right. It's down here. So yeah, before playing, uh, before getting my hands on this game, the latest build, I actually had hesitation and doubts about the game because, like I said, I played the original demo uh, a year and a half ago, and I was not impressed. There were so many things about the game. I was like, okay, this is just another generic city builder. There was nothing here for me that I feel like this game is overhyped. Um, so, but having played the game, I, I, all I can say is yes, this, this is probably going to be a hit. That's my sort of guess. Uh, now I can understand why a lot of people are, are excited for it. So here, let's, let's go ahead and start zooming in, right? So let me go give you a little flyby city level. You actually walk around as one of the one of the villagers too if you hit this button, right? Absolutely amazing, by the way. This does not lag anymore like it did when I first played it a long time ago. Uh, is that? No reviews, a standard thing for content embargoes. As someone who is, isn't involved in that kind of stuff, feels weird. But it might have been. Uh, I I don't know. I actually because I've seen the the a lot of other publishers or companies are like, hey, there's two different dates. One is you're allowed to play this, stream this, do whatever you want. First embargo date, and then there's a second embargo date where you're not allowed to to um, give a score until like a few days before the release or roughly around when the game is released. So this is a preview gameplay. We're allowed to share it. I, I don't know. I mean, the movie industry kind of does the same thing, right? They let press get early access to, to it and they'll, they'll allow for impressions. And then they will have a um, an embargo for the the actual movie review, like, you know, two days or a day before the movie is out or something like that. So that seems like, you know, the standard, it seems, right? Like, it, it follows the same formula as, like, the movie um, t and TV show uh, content release formats. 
All right, so right here it says exposed goods, generic storage. Goods uh, stored here are vulnerable to weather damage and need to be removed to a storehouse. All right, so let me go ahead and start building a storehouse. So what they're talking about here is your starting goods is sitting on the ground right here. So see how like there's these little circles? So whenever you deconstruct a building or demolish a building, you're actually going to get a refund of whatever resource. And and this is my complaint about the game. It sits on the ground like this, right? And the problem when it sits on the ground like that, you can't actually place anything on top of that, right? So as soon as you demolish something, the refunded items that sits on the ground will prevent you from claiming that, that land spot to building on it, which is very, very annoying. And so when my first playthrough test of this, right, now that I know what's going on, I'm avoiding that mistake. So when I did my first playthrough, I started building like a house here and then my storage over here. And I was like, okay, I, I can't, you know, I, I was like, oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna wanna move it. So I canceled it or destroyed it, right? Uh, it's unlike, you know, against a storm where you just salvage something and you get it back, right? Or, or a lot of games, you, you destroy something or de demolish. It sits on the ground. But it does not prevent you from rebuilding. So let's say I did like something like this, right? And then I, I changed my mind because I want it to be a different orientation, right? I wanted to go across the street or I want it to go this direction instead of uh, the other direction, right? So if you do that, you'll get like a pile of log in a little circle and it counts that circle as a building. And then I can't build on top of that spot anymore. And the problem with that is that there is actually no log pile storage in the game. Like, this will not store logs. And so it's going to sit there, and it basically sat there for, like, many, many seasons. I was so frustrated with that, right? And I didn't know that, because I also had, like, a bunch of houses over here that I wanted to rebuild, because I made a plot, and I accidentally decided, or I, I, I decided later that I didn't want my housing uh, community here, and basically I lost all of this land spot because it's got a bunch of little circles with logs sitting on the ground, right? Annoying, but realistic. Yeah, it's realistic, sure. But I think what they should have done was have a, uh, a priority, right? Because my, my feedback was have a priority because this right here does not have a priority. There's no priorities on this. There's no button that says, hey, move this first. You know, there's no there's no up and down arrow. But when you place down a building, you have this priority, right? You can say, hey, I want this as high priority, build that first. So it's kind of like, you know, other games, they have like a priority where it's like, hey, move this first or whatever, right? This does not have that. Um, so that was what was annoying about the game. And then I later realized also that even if it did have priority, the wood, well, the priority probably would have helped because I wanted them to use the logs from this spot here first over the logs that's actually in st uh, stored inside the logging camp. So for the longest time, they were actually using the logs from the logging camp and not remove the crap that's sitting on the floor. So that was a kind of a problem. And the other thing too is that, well, if you want to be realistic, right? If you've got the logs sitting on the ground and you're trying to re or rearrange the building like this, Right, so let's say I wanted my storage, um, my storage the other direction, right? Well, it should lay, let me lay down my blueprint and then reuse the demolished or the refunded wood that's sitting on the ground, right? So that way they don't have to like transport it somewhere else and then transport new logs back to that spot, right? Why, why do I have to get rid of my logs that's sitting on that spot already? right to rebuild something just to clear the land and then move it all back again right it should at least say hey you know the logs are already there let's just reuse the logs that's sitting on the ground and start working right so that that is a little bit more realistic to me right as an argument that it's a good idea to just leave it there all right so i'm gonna put this here that's fine all right because i do want to start storing stuff All right, and then how do I want to do this? 
So I've got my logs here. I've got my storehouse here. Um, I can't remember what I originally had here. I have like a, a layout design in mind, which also, this is also nice, by the way. I can actually move this around. Um, so I want to get the storehouse to get rid of all the stuff that's sitting on the ground, because that will take weather damage. Same as food. Where is my... My berries are right down there, right? Where's my food? Granary, right? Sure. Stick the granary across the street. Because the berries are over here. And later the... The farming is probably going to be over here somewhere anyways. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think the hunting is over there, right? Somewhere along this path, right? Oops, I, I keep zooming out way too far. Yeah, let's go with that for now. Uh, okay, I do like the fact that the road placement is free. Because some games charge you, like, wood for your roads and stones or whatever. The initial road should be free, which is fair. Yeah, well, the game already has been released. It's uh, early access for content creators and press. So I have a press copy. Uh, I'm part of the first wave of content creators that got access to it. They actually have a long list of other content creators waiting to get keys. Uh, they were only able to do it in batches to manage the initial group. So I'm, I'm the lucky chosen few, and I really appreciate being among the lucky few. That's all I can say. So I, I, don't, I didn't want to screw up my embargo. Have you, uh, I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that's, that some may spread about me. This is the guy that we have to, like, take back the territory from. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildy Bolt von Bern... whatever the hell. Blulenenut, right? I, I don't want to say anything back to him. I can, but I don't want to. All right, the, this building has no assigned family. Uh, select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to get started on the production, sure. So let's go ahead and assign a, a woodcutter. Uh, while human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace uh, permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have to unsign oxen if you have any construction going on. Right. So here, if you want to assign the only ox to this town that means the haulers and everybody else cannot cannot use it right wood will not be moved to any other construction locations um with the uh, with the with the ox so i don't want to do that and the advance also allows me to choose how i want my wood cutting to be done right so i can i can go like this and say hey um focus on this right the at that area for for wood cutting or you can, uh, you can uncheck it and say unlimited. A lot of games have that feature where it lets you move your your zone. Which is nice. Okay, so this right here is basically the homeless people's tent. Uh, once you get your housing set up, all these people will move to the location of the houses that you've, you've uh, established or created for them. So all this pile here needs to... To move to avoid weather damage and so what I did was I created a granary here so I can move my food there and I created a storehouse so I can move the supplies that's sitting on the ground and then logging camp is necessary to be able to do constructions okay all right so let me show you you can walk around right as the dude in third person 
I'm just gonna go over here and inspect the the log camp here. It's kind of cool. It's a work in progress. But yeah, I, I, I don't like that mode as much as this because I think this is a lot cooler. Because you actually see more this way, right? So this is what I kind of like about the game, how, how very super detailed this is. It reminds me a lot of the original Settlers game. Where when you some some of the missions or scenarios of the original settlers game, you don't get like a ton of settlers, so you have like a few, and you can just watch them deliver all the stuff. Things need to be delivered, basically. You actually see the whole little animation, right? Them doing things. I mean, the level of detail here is just amazing. I'll show you that once we start also get housing set up. I was like, wow. The attention made and placed on housing was really cool. Whoa, nice. This, this game looks nice. Wish we could play it as well. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's it's really absolutely gorgeous playing this. Like, I, I was just up all night. I think I have night and day set up, right? Yeah, Cosmo. Okay, let me turn on night and day for you. Um... So that way, you you can also see. Hang on, let me turn off my phone here. More spam callers. Yeah, like I said, my graphic settings is not that high. I had to like set some of this low so I can actually make sure that I can stream it, um, and still run OBS or whatever it is, right? The recordings. So it's not. It's not super high on a lot of these. Just imagine like some of them some of them I had to tweak to see if it made a difference. It didn't if it didn't make a difference, I just kinda left it at the lower end setting. In terms of visual. But I'm sure it does make a difference in some parts or some areas. Very, very cool, right? Yeah, one of my favorite city builders was Caesar 4, and I loved how upgrading buildings worked in it. Basically, buildings start at the lowest tier, and they need to be provided the correct ne necessities from wandering NPCs uh, that wander from their workplace to the nearby buildings, for example. Building a well, you get a well boy walking around, provides fresh water to the houses, uh, and to any houses uh, it passes by. It made road, it made road infrastructure very important. Right, right. Speaking of water, let me um, let me set up a water well here. You know what, I'm gonna actually place it there. Because one of the things that I I learned was the water well, if you roll your mouse over this, it says enable firefighting. And yes, there is there there are fires in the game. And that was another annoying bug, which coupled with the demolished bug that I was talking to you about, right? So what happened in one of my playthroughs was uh a like a, a bunch of my houses, a row of my houses, all caught on fire. And they were left with rubbles at the end. So it was annoying because they didn't have a button to rebuild those houses, right? The manor is the only building that actually has a rebuild button. These other buildings, you, the only thing you do with rubbles is hit the demolish button. And so when you hit the demolish button, it created that problem I was telling you, right? Where it just leaves stuff behind. Well, in the case of some of the houses that got burnt down, they were leaving behind invisible supply um, supply circles, right? There was actually literally nothing there, but the supply circle prevented my, uh, me from building or rebuilding on those land spots. And that was really annoying, right? And uh, I, I'm trying to avoid now getting houses caught on fire 
and having now more water wells at each of the corners. It's kind of like in Far This Frontier, you need the water wells um, for the uh, villagers to to fight the fire. So that's still um, similar to to Far This Frontier. Just hopefully the developers can do something about the demolished bug or the rubbles. Having a repair button would be a lot easier, so I don't have to like replace my my housing. Um. Oh, okay, right, right, right. So here I can place my um, burgage plots, right? This is flexible plots. So they're showing you that you can set, set up a flexible plot and then they will actually organically create the housing. So some buildings will have flexible borders, place four points through des designated area. The curse will snap to the roads and buildings to try to create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future uh, extension upgrades. The first two points mark the front of the house by default. So yeah, you definitely want to get, so I'll, I'll show you. So you definitely want to start with, um, with extensions for them. I'm going to go with this. Across the street from the... The rocks? I don't know about that, actually. Hang on, let me change that. I changed my mind. I'm going to go like this instead. With my other design, I actually have the row of houses there. But you know what? I'm going to do it on this side instead. This is housing plot. Um, hang on. You know what? Hang on. Let me, let me do my my rows first. So that way I have some sort of ruler. Alright, let me do that. Hopefully that's how I want it. Hang on. Let me make sure that's how I want it. Placing. I guess I can do two, right? Two across the, the street from each other. Hang on, let me pause that. This is for planning purpose. Alright, so let me remove this road here. That's alt key, right? Let me do that first. All right, so let me go like this. Okay. That's for clay, right? Hang on, let me make sure that I can do that still. Yeah, okay, I can still do that. All right, that's fair. Um, so housing. So we're going to do the housing snap. I'm going to snap it from here. Hang on, hang on, is that... Let me see my fertility overlay. It's on this side of the street, right? Okay. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. Alright, so that's still good. Let me take that off. No overlay. I'm gonna place it right here then. As planned. start from the side first because I like it's easier to do it like this what's my not enough oh yeah, 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 yeah. I need more wood that's why I can't do it yet because I, I'm missing the timber so we'll wait on that so I'm gonna I'm a probably place my housing districts here and then one across the street from here and then after that whatever is over here I can use as farming so I'm going to be happy with that. Yeah, okay. 
that's fine. That'll be fair. So that will be the other storehouse later. Let me go ahead and remove this. I don't need to set that down yet. We have a well. So nothing's going to catch on fire. I'm going to put a guy in here to, re to remove these things. Or deliver the things. We're going to add this guy over here. And then... Food-wise... I'm going to place the forger's hut somewhere along here, right? That says I'm going to lose three. Which is fine. Let's go with that one. Right. I'm gonna get food over there. Do, 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 do. So that one I, I want high priority. So that way we can start getting this. Because right now we only have enough for three months. Looks like my old ass PC won't be able to run it. Oh, yeah. Just imagine someone with a NVIDIA 4090 or uh, AMD RX 7900 XT graphics card with this game. Yes. What do I have? What's in my uh, What's in my about description? I I have a description of my video card on the. Uh, on my about page. I, I can't even remember. I don't want to click it off my PC because then it's just going to mute the, the game sound. I mean, I can look at it, look at it on my computer, but I mentioned to you before is if I unfocus my window, it, it will actually... I'll lose the sound. Let me look at my channel about here. What did I put down as my computer stats? I forgot what I... Did I, did I include my stats information? I guess I didn't include my stats information. I thought I could have sworn I had my stats information. Oh, I do, right? I have a 37? No, that's old. That's old. I actually have a newer a newer video card than the one that's listed on my about page. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. The one that no, sorry, the, the GPU is correct. So but yeah, my, my video card is a GPU Radeon RX 6900 XT. Yeah, mine is a, uh, a 6900. Oh, yeah, thank you for pasting that information. LOL, Africa. Yeah, so that's my current stats right now. That's my current, uh, setup requirements. So if you guys are interested in wondering, you know, what's my, sort of my, um, uh, my spec, that's what I'm running it on right now. And it's, it, it works, it works, right? And keep in mind that I'm streaming it as well with the OBS because OBS has to has to do the render sort of the processing and coding uh, to to stream it for you guys. So if I wasn't streaming, like it's I mean right now it's actually plays the same as if I was streaming it. It's not as bad because I think I'm probably using software rendering rather than using my GPU rendering. I, could, I think that if, if I was using GP rendering, I think my video card would probably be humming a lot more. How's the graphics on your end, by the way, streaming? I mean, I actually did a recording briefly just to see. It looks still pretty good. Let me know if it looks good or not. That's the well, right? I mean, you can actually see this guy... ...gather shit, right? Or deliver shit, right? To the storage. And you actually see the food sitting on the ground there, too, in the storage. The detail, I mean, look at that detail of the house. The storage, right? Look at, look at the detail here, holy shit. This is the granary, guys. Beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Granary, so we get, uh, we're getting some pickled goods. <laughs> pickled goods, right? 
crop packs. That's in reference to Against the Storm. We uh, we get granary in the Against the Storm. Making fabric and shit. No, you don't make the fabric in the granary. Okay, so the hitch post has a free move, free relocate, which is nice. So you don't have to like deconstruct it and move it, which I've actually done. But I'm not going to do that now until all the supplies are, are gone. So once the supplies are gone, you see that? That little circle went away. Which allows me to be able to place anything I want on top of that. But, for example, the logs. Oh, they've already removed the logs. Yeah, they've already removed the logs. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move the hitch post. The hitch post is basically where the oxen resides. So let me go ahead and move that. Um, sure, I'm, I'll, I'll put it right there. Do I want to overlap it with the water? No, let's just leave it right there. So that will move the hitch post for free. And then whenever the tent is gone, when we have housing, uh, that automatically... Oh, there is still one log left over here, huh? Oh, no, no, that that's the hitch post. It's going to move it automatically. So this here basically will disappear after I have housing set up. And I need to get... Oh, yeah, it's 12, right? I can do 6. Let me do that now, actually, since I have it. Since I have enough wood. It's only four. Alright, well, I guess we'll just do five for now. It's fine. Oops. Oops. Oh, hey, I could do six, technically. If I t tilt it. If I do that, the size of the plot is smaller. And people won't be able to do their crops. I mean, five is exactly enough for what I need, my current housing. But if I do six, I can start getting more people to move in. Six is 12, right? I'm pretty sure it's 12. I do have enough logs. Yeah, let's go with, let's go with this. It's fine. My first time seeing the tool for plotting house. I'm pogging so hard, right? <laughs> yeah. It's very nice because once you have it set up, you can tell them to spend their wealth, their personal wealth, each house to say, hey, I want you to do chicken. I want you to do goat. I want you to do vegetables, right? And the only other game, like I said, that I've seen this mechanic is uh, Fabledom, where you build a house and then you can choose what they place in the backyard. So the house is here and then it's like, you can do two things or three things, right? Technically up to three things. Here they just use their backyard. You can do different layouts too, by the way. So let me show you. You're not restricted to that. Uh, I think it's tab key, right? Oh, oh I have to place it first. Oh, I don't have enough wood, so I can't I can't show you the next step. Or I can't show you with the thing because I I have to have enough wood to be able to place it or designate the area. And this is the marketplace, right? They're gonna want a place to set up the market.
the market is so that they can sell the goods. Uh, it's kind of like, like I said, Lords and Villains, 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 um, where uh, the workers go to the market to sell the goods. It does snap to that, huh? It wants to snap to that road over there that I made earlier. And I don't want to do that. Hang on. Now the roast's kind of angled, huh? It's curving around that one right there. Oh yeah, I guess it's fine. It's there. Fine, it's fine. We'll go with that. It's not perfect square, but you know, it's fine. All right. It's not perfect, but whatever. We'll take it. No, maybe bigger, right? Maybe bigger. Because they might have more shit to sell later. Jesus, that corner there. Just go this way then. Yeah, all right. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you can delete this, but they it'll delete their market stalls because they all build their own market stalls in the middle. So market stalls is like, or the market is, yeah. Here it's, it tells you. Supply and demand. A well-supplied market is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to, uh, to check your current supply and demand. Uh, Burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first, right? So that's why I placed it like my housing right across the street from it. Because some of these guys will, when I choose their, their setup in their backyard, so if I do this guy as veggies, this guy as chicken, and this guy as as goats or whatever it is, they're gonna deliver all their their shit to the market to distribute. And so other families that that don't produce that uh, can actually buy it from this. So each family can do their own little buy and sell. Now if you sign a family to also work at one of these buildings, right? Um, they will also deliver. The, the goods that, that you have them working on to the market. Like the firewood. Which we need to set up here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't have enough workers. There. So well, this now is the forager, and they need to go get the food here. Oh yeah, so I need to get the firewood, right? There we go. And that's logs, right? How much logs do I have? Yeah, it's fine to leave it like that. I don't want to mess with that. 
Yeah, it doesn't need to, to be a square, I hope. No, it does not need to be a square. The entire game is very organic. I just... I just made it... I, 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 I'm used to, like, grid-based whatever games, but yeah, you do not have to make things square-ish. This is actually not a square. This is actually slightly tilted outward. That's how I was able to fit six. But does not need to be a square. I vote uh, we get base bees and make honey. We could we could do that, right? I could do that as a development later. Specialize your region. After you upgrade, uh, after you reach the next settlement level, you'll be you'll be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to raise your administration level by uh, building administrative buildings like the manor. Okay, yeah, sure. So development, you can actually get bees right here. So once I get a point, I can spend it on this. Apriary, right? Similar to Farthest Frontier, you can create one of those. Uh, enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in forest, which gives a passive income of meat. Uh, doubles capacity of all berry deposits. I'm probably going to take this one. So that way we get meat. Because I don't think we have rich... Rich hunting, right? Hunting's over here. One of the things that you can do also as a trick is to try to migrate the animals this direction. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. What's all this? What's all this? Yeah, I don't know what this is, but... Junk. What does this say? Work area is empty. Workers can't find any other thingy for now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um... There. Yay, we get some food for fuel. Yes. We have food here, right? Food. We're gonna probably cut down on this now. And I wanna get firewood in here. Salt it. Not enough goods? Oh, well, it's probably because I don't have wood yet. Because I need the wood for this. Yeah, I don't have any wood yet. Let's go, let's go into the forest. Let's see what they're doing. Let's see what they're working on. This dude's chopping the tree, right? Peter, his name is Peter. What if I could name these guys? Jorg. I don't think I can name or rename them. Yeah, I don't think I can. These guys are gathering the... Oops, it's probably saving. Yeah, it was the middle of saving. Gathering the bushes. It's raining too, look at that. Kind of cool, right? The weather effects and everything. Construction finish, right? So Burgage plots. Homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check on their residential requirements. Got it. I'll show you in a second here. So my approval rating is low because I have homeless people. Right, new mercenary companies available, and I'll show you that in a second here. I can actually hire mercenaries, but I, I need money. 
So you can hire mercenaries and it'll tell you like what mercenaries are available and the cost. And so once you get them, they're part of your army. Uh, here's the army tab and I believe you can have up to six army slots. I don't have any army here yet and I think that I have to get to the next level first before that kicks in. Disease. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs might speed up uh, their recovery, while a variety diet increases disease resistance, right? We want to make sure that we have a variety of food. Construction finished, right? Resources added to the inventory storehouse, right? So we now have uh, weapons. So you can click on this, roll your mouse over. Here we've got large shields and large spears. So if you click on army, you can now choose what I would would be nice if it if it tells you. This is my other complaint here. That if you click on these guys. Oh, it does tell you what they have and what you don't have, right? Yeah, you have to click on it though. Would be nice if it was more of a rollover, because you've already selected it. You see? So this is actually a selection. That's where my complaint is. So I just happen to know that the Spearman uses both of these. So I can't click on this because that's the requirement. So I wish they actually gave you the requirement when you roll over this. That's my complaint. All right, those are the only two that I can I can select. This one I know I can't get anything right. I can't get anything there. And that those numbers will go up based on the number of people you have. Right now, I'm going to put in two, an army of t uh, two units, or two groups. New messages. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Quick, Quickly, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. Luckily, luckily. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we uh, will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form a militia. We just did that already. Uh, to get more population, you need to have enough empty uh, burgage plots and your approval needs to be 50% or higher. Sure, thank you for that. So we're at 46. You created your first militia unit. The male villagers will uh, be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield dependent on, depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality um, of body armor and helmet depends on the villager's residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the, uh, the unit recruits are marked as ready to uh, rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Okay, or your unit. So, uh... So each of the villagers in their homes, they will actually go to the storehouse and collect their weapons and store in their own home homes. And you can actually click on these things and rally them. I don't want to rally them right now because I have no use for them. But when you rally them, they become a unit on the screen with their own little banner. Uh, so then that 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 kicks into the RTS aspect. You actually can, can, can control them uh, by clicking on the unit itself, or the group, right? The the banner rally group. So a group of five, basically, technically, I will only be able to control the group of five. And then this one. So I'll have like two units if I rally this over here, and I, I click on this and I rally over here. And I can choose those two groups that composes of five men each right now. It, the numbers grow later once I add an, another set of housing here, and more villagers start showing up, or when they populate because right, right now they have like what three guys so when they actually get more people now it's only the male of the village all right so here i get to choose what they what they do in their backyard right extensions add extra production functionality to the residential building or buildings right so i'm gonna go with so i only have like 50 to play with this is the regional wealth among all the villagers they share. It's basically shared money. Um, so this person here, and this costs 25, this costs 25, this is 15, right? And I have only 50. So I can either do both of this, or I can do this and this. I definitely want goats with the first one, right? 
And this one, I can do eggs or veggies. Passive yields of eggs, passive yields of hides. Hmm. You don't get beehives yet because I have to choose it. And I don't want to I don't want to invest in beehives. I want to invest in in uh passive trapping, right? I don't know. Maybe workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to 2 apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yields. I don't know. Is, is honey better? Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest. Which gets passive income of meat. See here, I have to assign a worker, right? This is, this is, for the, the hunters to do, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one because if the hunters can't hunt anything, they'll actually at least get meat from traps. Whereas this one here, I'm gonna choose. I'm just a big fan of bees. I've got literally no clue if it's good. Oh. <laughs> vegetable. I don't... I think it's better to get the meat. Allows growing vegetables. Sure. I mean, you know, my particular play style or how, what I'm doing is not the way to go. Because I have not figured out anything in terms of min-maxing. I've only figured out a few things. Specifically, things to avoid. Right? You don't want to... You don't want to demolish shit. You want to get it right the first time, and you also want to have lots of, um, lots of wells. Oh yeah, let me get rid of this alt key, right? Now that the uh, the homeless thing is gone. Sure, I may stick this in the back here. And they also have this little exit in the back, too, of their yard. So they actually can leave their yard, which is kind of nice there. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the a second well. Because I don't want them to... Oh, wait. Oh, it has to be underground water source. Oh, luckily, there's one right there. Perfect, actually. That's perfect. It snaps, right? You can disable the snapping, too, by the way. So if you wanted to disable snapping. I just have my snapping on. Yeah, see, snap to road. There we go. And then you can rotate it. So hopefully that will help with firefighting. Oh, I need to make a decision on my last item, right? Sure, let's just go with chicken. Alright, so one of the other things too is the size of how much you get the yield that you get from vegetables depends on the size of your backyard. So, I'm gonna go with chicken instead, and then this side I could probably do vegetables on the back side. Oh man, that, that road is terrible, huh? It's a terrible road. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh my god, did you have to put it all the way there in that corner? I guess that's because that's your- that's probably your backyard movement. That's fine, we'll go with that. Snap. Oh, Jesus. There you go. How's that? I could stick something else over here if I wanted to, right? Let's go with... Oh, yeah, I was gonna make some firewood, right? Oh, yeah, I made snap to road. There, so that way we'll get some firewood. And then... Remove this. Where else? Do we have enough? No, you know what? I'll add extra work for there, that's fine. We have, what, 12 months? Fuel for three? We're gonna start needing fuel, right? It says I'm consuming three now. So peel is probably a thing. No meats means no jerkies, right? Yes. I need the meat. Arby's, we have the meat. Well, so the thing is, the, the hunter is so far away over here. Like, really, really far away. Like, really far away. It's fine. Well, it looks far away, but I, I don't think it's that far away, though. It's not as bad as it seems. In my, one of my other playthroughs, I had a really, really good setup. Like, everything was, like, all around the, the center. My hunter was, like, over here and everything. That was just really far out. Stick it like this. Hmm. Hang on, let me see if I can just remove that road. Not quite sure if that's gonna make a difference. Yeah, see, it does fit in there, right? Or I could curve the road, I guess. Actually, I might be able to squeeze another road here. No. It won't. It won't let me go through that. That's fine, whatever. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. I could change the mark size of the market stall too. Woodcutter's Lodge. That's this guy here, right? That gets us firewood. I need to get a forester's hunt. 
to regrow the trees. Sure, let's go with that. Advance. You know what, hang on, I'll just go ahead and unlimit it. Just let him cut wherever the hell he feels like it. That's fine. I don't think I made a bigger, big backyard, did I? Alright, here's what, here's what's really cool about this, right? The details here. Well, I guess one of the things I noticed was, like, some of these houses have, like, little outhouse. Alright, so this guy here has his outhouse here. And then this guy here is like, oh, you know what? I don't want my outhouse right next to my building, right? Or my house. I don't want to poop. I don't want poop stinking up my house, right? So he decided to put his little outhouse back here, which is really cool, right? How everyone's got their own little way of setting up their, their outhouse. Hey, thank you for that twitching DLC. Now, one of the comments that other content creator was saying was, I think, um... They said, like, well, you know, some people don't want to, you know, take their shit and walk all the way back to the end of the backyard at night, right? Some people just want their their shitter right next to the house. So they don't have to walk, walk as far, which is pretty valid, right? It's very valid. I've been here before. Yes, Twitching DLC. I know. It says you, you just followed. Uh, you should put the outhouse near where the neighborhoods hate you the most. It's organic. They they do whatever they want. I don't choose. But I thought I just had to point out that, you know, some people want their outhouse near the, the front. Some people want to put it in the far back at the end of the backyard, right? So I, I just thought that was very cool. The level of detail here. So how would you guys place your outhouse, right? If you own one of these plots, would you place it next to your house? Easy access in the middle of the night? Or all the way at the end of your backyard like this, where the shit does not stink your house? That is a question, right? That you have to think about when you're when you're deciding, living in the medieval age, uh, I, de I designed basic plumbing. They had the uh, tech, just not the uh, g gumption. Not near entrance, because everyone smell it on their way in. <laughs> Which is to say, river-powered plumbing. Place it in the back, away from the house. Back of the house, I say? Okay. So this one guy, I think one guy had it right next... Yeah, one guy had it right next to the door. <laughs> Or, no, no, this guy has it next... No, that is next to the door, right? Yeah. This dude says, hey, I want it right next to my front door. Or, no, it's not next to his front door, right? It's not exactly next. This front door is right here. This guy has a front door on the side here. This is kind of cool, right? Everyone's got their own little front door location. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This is around the around the corner, right? This is around the corner. So yeah, you know, very interesting idea. Something to think about, right? I didn't think about that level of detail. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't think about it like that. But imagine tripping and dying in the middle of the night on your way to the shitter. <laughs> yeah, right? Right? Yeah, it's true. So this guy here has to walk all the way over here. He might trip on this to get to the shitter, right? Yeah, it looks like the Sweden during the Vikings era. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, anyways, just pointing out that little interesting level of detail there. This is the stone cutters, right? Alright, let me add another house. My boot. 
My food variety is pretty bad, though. I need to get my food variety up. Uh, Roche guy. Yeah, you're finding that entertaining, right? Yeah, I don't know what I would do. It really depends on what the smell is like. I guess you have to think about it first before placing it down, right? Because once you place it down, moving, it's like, you know, an afterthought. It's like, oh shit, it smells bad. I think I have to relocate the outhouse. Then you have to, like, tear it down and move it. Hunting camp. Alright, cool. Close. And the game does have, like, coming soon smell overlay, right? Smell overlay. I guess green smells good and brown is not. Screw building the outhouse. Just shit in the hole in the ground. Bury it and move on. What, do you want to do that every day? I don't know. Things you have to think about, right? If you live in the medieval era, new mercenaries camp available. Granary, right? I definitely need more food. I need more food variety. Where are my eggs? Hurry up, get me eggs. All right, okay, next thing I want to do is set up the the trading, right? So I can start... Well, actually, no. I, I want to set up the saw pits. So I can... Then later sell the, the the planks for money. I think I might make the stall smaller. Because they are kind of walking really far to the stall. And this guy is trying to sell his firewood? Oh no no, that's that's probably the guy that owns that's assigned to the firewood. And so he's selling his firewood basically. Yep. We don't have a stall yet for the eggs or the um the the hide either. And that's the clay pit over here. Hey it's sexy hog, good morning. Forester's hunt, right? I don't have enough workers. Hey, where, 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 where do I add people here? Do I have a hunter? Do I have a hunter yet? There we go. My food variety is berries, right? I only have 52 berries. I need to like stock it in the granary. No one's storing shit in the granaries. Yeah, usually I don't like going down to the city level to, to look at shit, but this game is just so amazing in terms of graphics. Like, I rarely zoom in, like, in other city builders, because I'm like, okay, it's like every house is like a cookie cutter, right? So there's no point, right? But here, it's like so cool. Just looking at the street level. Look at that level of detail, the water dripping on the ground. You can kind of see it, right? Hello, Missy. Where are you going? 
This is L's, right? Deep branching a tree. This is who, who's this? Margaret, right? Fritz. They're probably a married couple. All right, Fritz. Let's follow Fritz around. Hello, Fritz. And what are you doing? Where are you going? Hunter. Oh, she's a hunter, right? She's transporting firewood back to our house. Where is this going? Oh, he's the woodcutter. He's working hard, huh? This dude, what are you doing? Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I wonder if you can zoom into the other levels, the other cities. I think you can, right? Let's see what the other neighbors are doing. I don't know if you can see the other neighbors. I've never actually gone over there to see them. I don't think I don't think you, they're there, right? He claims that land, but I don't think he's doing anything. What if you can spy on them? Oh, I don't think you can. I don't see any activity over there, even though they own there's somebody there, right? I guess you don't get to see them do their thing. Yeah, that level of detail is not in the game. Yeah, okay, let's... What else can we look at? Yeah, you can't spy on your neighbors, apparently. Did we choose red? No, we didn't choose red, right? Red is our color, though. Alright, what are you working on? I don't see any animals here. No animals. There's nothing stored here. Somebody's being lazy. There's three people there, right? Oh, once okay, two are laying the traps, and then one is actually doing the hunting. Okay, that's probably how we're gonna get some meat later. Our approval rating is slowly going up. We need more food variety. We do have an extra house, right? Yeah, we do have an extra house. No one's living in this one. Yeah, no one's living in that one. So we do have an extra slot for someone to move in. How much wood do I have now? 13? All right, let's go ahead and add in another set of housing. Side, right? You know, I'll wait until we we get the six person move in. There's no reason to to add more right now. Oh, the food stall is abandoned. Oh, that's because the person that's selling it is not there. Woodcutter, right? That's the woodcutter stalls. Okay, here's the annoying thing too, right? It says generic storage is full. So... Like I mentioned to you, that icon shows up saying the generic storage is full. It's technically not full. 
It's only full because a log is stored there, and the person that needs to chop the log converts it to the 50 planks. And it can only store one right now. So this is, seems like a bug, and everyone in the content creator's channel is like, okay, yeah, this is the most annoying notification ever. And this is because of this one log sitting right there. It just won't go away. I hope they fix that soon. It's not as big as a deal, a deal as the demolish bug that I mentioned earlier. Well, it's not a bug, it's just a bad feature. Let me take this guy off. Put him back on the... The pantry. Or the, uh, the berries. Because the food stall got abandoned right here. Yeah, see the food stall got abandoned. I need more workers soon. Alright, let's speed this up. So I've got housing for six families, and I only have five families. Low population growth, neutral approval. Alright, so we've reached 50% at least. So that means people can move into that six uh, housing slot, right? Yeah, also, can I just say the priority system is, uh, in general feels very limited in this game. It was just low, normal, high, right? Compared to uh, something at ATS where priority is a number with a wide range that feels very limited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, that, that feels very limited. Yes. The, the priority system could be better. I agree. Okay, so spring is frequent raining, Seas seasonal deposits regrowth. Right, so the berries uh, do not grow during the winter. Crop grows, possible droughts, plowing and sowing crops, harvesting, right? I need more people to show up before I start building these other things. Of course, I had ads just as you replied to my message. Oh, time to get some uh, Twitch Prime, right? Start subbing. Colorful Sun Bear says, I'll admit the visuals look great. Yes, it looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. For a city builder like this? And okay, keep in mind guys, this is made by one solo developer. Crazy, right? It's crazy. So yeah, this game is the number one most wishlisted games. It actually beats Frostpunk 2. Frostpunk 2 just recently got 2 million uh, wishlist votes. Can you uh, intrude into people's homes to get a good view as how, to produ how they produce new villagers? No. I actually commented on that. I was like, hey, can I, can I walk into the housing? You kind of see a little bit of something there with the flickering, right? Through the windows. It looks like somebody had candles or something. I don't know. But no, as a first person walking around, I can't walk into the house. Alright, I can't walk into the house. Knock, knock. Who's there? Big bad wolf. Red Riding Hood. Are you a lord or not? What What about the first night law? Are you a lord or not? Yeah, man. When it's rainy, it looks absolutely dog shit to live in these conditions. Very well made. Yes. Very well made. I do get motion sickness, though. <laughs> Oh my god. 
when I'm walking around as that dude. Start a fight with one of the peasants? I can't. It's limited, right? If you roll your mouse over, it's, it says limited. Very early in development. Expect glitches. Press to walk around your, your town in third person mode. Dirty peasants kill peasants? No, you don't want to do that. Alright, to get to the next level, I need plot level 2. Oh shit, I got bandits stealing my, my eggs? Oh my god. I already have bandits stealing my eggs. Must be summer. Or late August, right? <coughs> These guys are like right next to each other too. This guy's selling firewood and this chick is like... Trying to sell me her... Her rotten, stale bread. Like, yeah, come on over. Well, perhaps it was very, simply a bad deal. Simply a bad deal. Yeah, to be fair, I'd also steal your eggs. This has vibes of the game Foundation. I'm sure you play. Yeah, I played that. Yeah, Foundation is cool. The thing about Foundation, though, is my complaint about Foundation is all their villagers look so creepy. They've got these, like, creepy eyes walking around in Foundation. I mean, Foundation reminds me of the the Settler series. It's really well done. It's just the the whole creepy eyes. It's kind of like that in um, in that other game. What's that other game? Founder's Fortune, right? That's another city builder I played. Founder's Fortune. I actually like Founder's Fortune. I enjoyed it quite a lot. But the, that one has also got creepy eyes as well. Hey, what's going on, Dat Pleb? Uh, hey, uh, is this full release? No, it's uh, early access. The version I'm playing it on is the first wave of content creators that got selected to get a review copy and press. People in the press. There are a bunch of other creators waiting to get access to this. And they'll, they'll probably get... They'll probably send out another wave of keys to the second wave group later. But, uh, yeah, it turns out the first wave is actually hand-picked. It's not actually randomized. I I was very surprised that I am in the VIP elite status of, of content creators. So I think that Hooded Horse appreciates some of the coverage I've done in the past. So it's really nice to be rewarded, I guess to get first on hands access to the top most wish listed game. Yeah, take care, homie, and chat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. I'll be leaving chat and watching the bot of your impressions of the ATS experimental changes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Thank you for that, by the way. Colorful sun there. So very uncanny valley in appearance. I liked it a lot. Uh, uh, the idea of rather peaceful medieval city building with no fighting involved was lax relaxing to me. Yeah, you can choose no fighting in this game as well. If you saw the beginning when I did the uh, scenario setup, you can choose not to do combat if you wanted to. That is the first scenario option. Uh, so your only goal in that one, victory condition, was to reach the highest level population. So for those who are wor who's worried about combat as a thing and you just want chill vibe you could disable that when you start the game so keep that in mind and yeah keep in mind again this is you know pre early access release i'm sure some of the things that i've been commenting on and things that other creators have also uh gave feedback on will probably get adjusted by the time it uh it releases uh this month 
August, not August, April 26, right? April 26. Let me see if I can get you like a link. Hang on, give me a second. I will get a link for you guys so you can wishlist this. Because I do want to hype this game up and give it some shout outs. So here, type or hit click on that. I paste it into my chat there box. And go wishlist the game. I should probably put a command here for that too. Yeah, so that's the link to Mana Lords if you guys want to um, add that to your Steam wish list. All right. All right, so I'm still waiting for a guy to show up, right? To get into that slot right there. I only have five homes. And I need to start... Taking care of the wood, right? The saws. Hang on, do I? Where's the granite? I guess it's that one, right? Four sure sense. And go over here to the saw pit. We've got what? 36 berries left? Okay. It's fine. Man, that chick's not selling it fast enough, huh? She's not selling her berries fast enough. She's oh the, the oh sorry the dude her husband's now in her husband is probably there. Oh hey this chick is buying some logs right. This chick is like yeah you know I'll buy some of your firewood. Go follow her home. You see like her her dress moving back and forth too. Hey sister, what's going on? Need help carrying that log? This dude, what, what? He's like the street... The street dude or whatever. The pimp maybe. Forger, getting a basket. What? What are you doing? Why are you not carrying... Why are you not delivering the, the berries back to the pantry? Or the uh, the granary? Probably take he's on his coffee break. Yep, this dude's on his coffee break. Yeah, he's probably going into the forest. And hopefully he'll move some of the berries out, right? Yeah, there's like a bunch of berries. Oh, he's probably going to gather the the one piece. Probably what he's doing. Are you almost here, dude? There you go. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's... What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's gonna go pick some berries. Yep, he's gonna go pick some berries. Yeah, he's... Uh, Monkey D. Luffy is gonna be king of the pirates once he finds the One Piece. <laughs> I know, I said One Piece earlier. That's I actually thought about that too, One Piece. The One Piece berry. Well, now he's gonna have to go gather three now, right? Dude, he just went to the the forest just to bring back one piece. That's all you got, right? You could have brought back two or something. Holy shit. One piece berry. 
It's not even full. What's that? The basket's not even full. He's got like a tiny little berry in there. What is up with that? Dude, you're not efficient. You're the worst. Look at all that. All these other baskets are full. You brought back like one piece. And he's probably now going to go on his coffee break or something, right? Oh, he's oh, he's he's get, he's getting another basket for another one piece. Yeah, he's just going to get another one piece there. All right, who else can we check up on? Let's fast forward this. I need another villager to show up. I need a new family to show up here. We got a lot of berries now, right? Got some eggs, leftover bread, meat from the hunter. Right, okay. So let's set up a trade post. No, that's not it, right? It's a pack station. I think that's a trade post, right? Or no? No, no, this is a trade post, yeah. Oops. Oops. I clicked on the wrong one. Where do I want my trade post? I want there or maybe over here granary right uh, sure I guess I'll do it right there Put this right here, right? So then with that, I can start selling some of my planks once I get a lot of planks. Because I will get a lot of planks. Oh, I need to get a guy back on this. Jesus. And I'm going to get another storehouse in here, too. How's my pantry? Not full, right? Alright, please move in. Holy crap. Yeah, so the reason why I want to set up this trading thing is so I can get more money. And then that money can be used to get more veggies. Hey, Shepin, good morning. Yes, good morning, right? 920. Yay! We got a new family here. Finally, a new family shows up. I might do this. I'm gonna probably make a longer plot this time. Oh, I need more wood. That's why. Yeah, I need more wood. Oh yeah, the new family is gonna be wood tunners. Yep. We need to also set up a church too. Cause I need a church basically to get to level two. You roll your mouse over this. Oh, this side. Let me let me show you what's going on here with the upgrade system. So, each housing plot has this requirement set right here, right? So, I need a church checked off, and I need a clothing stall checked off 
before I can actually go to the next level. And the next level, level 2, is what increases my village size. And then once my village size goes up to the next level, I'll get some development points. And the development points is basically this tree here. We got one development point earlier, and we invested into trapping. I don't know what I'm going to do with my next one. I can do apples, right? Get, get apples. Sheep breeding. Heavy plowing. Charcoal burning. Basic armor making. Hunters also collect hides from traps. Ooh. Advanced beekeeping. Enables beekeepers to also collect wax. Locked in early access. Work in progress. Okay. Foreign supplies, right? New building firewood cart. Permit market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood uh, as long as region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay a transport fee. Must be placed in the market marketplace. Trade logistics. Establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 uh, regional wealth. Okay, that's kind of like a reduction. Mining. Deep mining. Upgrade to a deep mine. Enables a building to extract resources infinitely if placed over a rich deposit. Oh! Well, that's nice. We actually have a rich deposit. This is actually a very good upgrade right here. Charcoal burning. Uh, charcoal kin kilns convert one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice as efficient. Ooh! This might actually be a pretty good one right here. Because I want to be able to have unlimited access to mines, right? Rich deposits. Because then that allows me to produce my own weapons without having to import and export. Or sorry, import. Better deals. Remove tariffs. Okay. Beekeeping. Apples. I think this is the best choice, right? I think I should go this direction. Efficient fuel and then deep mining. That sounds like a good deal right here. I don't have any ch policies yet. That's because I need to set up a, a manor. Yay, Chingoja! Thank you for the resub for 21 months. They subscribed for 21 months. Hello, guys. Good morning. Thank you for that resub. You finally get to see Mana Lords, right? Major uh, Mana Lord finally? Yeah, Mana Lords finally. I have enough wood. To, yeah, I have enough food and fuel, right? 20, 22 months and 11... 11 for firewood. Saving, right? I wonder where the bandits are. How's my wood? Definitely need more wood. Yeah, I definitely need more wood. I can't add more housing plots. Is the broadcasting banned over for Manalord? Oh, the embargo. Yeah, yeah, the embargo. It uh, the embargo was released this morning, 7 a.m. So it's you missed out in the beginning part, Tengoja. Let me give you a little flyby. Let me slow it down a little bit. And I was pointing out earlier in the stream how everyone has their own little unique organic housing design, right? Everyone who has a house assigned or a housing plot assigned to them 
can do however whatever the hell that they want with their house right in their backyard so i was pointing out the level of detail on on these houses not being cookie cutters some people decide to put their little outhouse here some put it right next to their door some puts it around the corner of their of their house right and then others place their outhouse on the far end of the backyard right so if you want to take a poop in the middle of the night you have to walk all the way back here versus some wants it like right next to their door i think somebody had well it's not in this one i think it was this one right this guy actually walks around his corner he goes in his house and his shitter is right over there around the side Yeah, wow, right? Very detailed, right? Indeed. Some people don't like the poop smell, right? <laughs> That's what I was saying, right? That's what I was saying. I was like, okay, you know, these are little things you have to think about, right? Do you want your poop next to your house? Or do you want to walk really far away from the house in the middle of the night? Those are the two tough decisions when planning how, uh, where to place your outhouse, right? So I was asking chat earlier, what would you guys do, right? If, if you had a house plot assigned to you like this, what would you do? Would you want your poop, your outhouse right here or further back? How far away do you want your outhouse? The farthest away from your house or right next door to your door? I guess, I guess if you don't have a window by the outhouse, that's okay, right? I think that is probably the most important thing. Not, make sure that your window is not placed in the direction of the outhouse. So you don't get the wind blowing the poop smell towards you. All right, I got enough planks now, right? Oops, oops. Furthest from well, water source, and kitchen. <laughs> Sanitary. Indeed, that's that's a good call. So I got to hit the T key, basically, to jump back in. So every time I zoom like this, if you hit the T key, it it, uh, it zooms into your, your town. In case you lose track of where your house, your town is. My choice, my, uh, my choose next to the house, but I can reach it from the house by door. I see. I see. All right, so I want to... Well, actually, before that, let me leave this. I don't... I need to set up my... It's more important to set up a second plot. Because right now, the money is not going to do anything for me. Because I don't want to spend my money. Well, I guess I could spend money on this area here, right? So here, each house gets their own little backyard extension. So the community regional wealth here is money that you can uh, spend on their behalf. In, in terms of decision making, like you can tell this this house here to do a vegetable garden, right? And so that requires the wealth here. Now the wealth, your wealth, the treasury is a separate item or separate uh, pool. This here is actually used to hire mercenaries and other stuff, right? You can hire mercenaries with it, right? And it can be used for diplomacy. But the regional wealth, you you get that from trading through the trade post. So any surplus goods, you can you can use that here. And then you can also import stuff too, so that your villagers can get more weapons to um or or anything else, like it doesn't have to be weapons. Like, if you're missing, like, a certain, uh, 
material uh, basic materials like um iron or, or whatever the hell right you can actually import that in right now my bottleneck is basically the the number of families and i need to set it up right now this way right I think it's... I need 12 logs. I need t 12. This guy's a woodcutter, right? Where's the sawmill guy? No, where's the sawmill? Alright, let me take this guy out. Let me add him there to get more more wood faster. And then we're gonna go. Okay, yeah. It's telling me new new mercenaries are available. So if I click on this, I use my treasury to buy these. I don't have any money right now. Um I wanna set up another housing plot. I guess what I can do is do do ten instead of five or six, because that gives me a wider vegetable garden. Yeah, we'll do five instead of six. That makes it wider, though, right? It snaps. All right, let's go with that. I think there I can rotate it, right? Housing position. Extensions. I think it's tab key, right? No, hang on. Rotate the plots. Nope. Uh, reduce divisions. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. So basically, this gives them more space in the backyard to grow vegetables. So these houses come with their own small farm plots, right? The backyard. Well, you can choose to tell them what to do with their backyard. So if you the one, the vegetables is based on the size of your plot. The chicken and the, uh, the goat is not based on the size. So if you want, like, more vegetables, more yields, then you want to change the size. So if I wanted these guys here to be all vegetables, and these guys here be chickens and, and goats or whatever else. I mean, there are other choices, too. I don't, I haven't unlocked those other choices. Um, oops, I accidentally zoomed. Let's go with this. Or maybe four? No, hang on. Four is not bad, right? It's a decent size. Let's go with four. Because if they have, like, too much, they spend most of their time... Uh, they might not be able to, to spend the time that they're they're assigned working somewhere else and also tending their garden. Let's go with us. Four should be fine. Wow, this game has Turkish subtitles, does it? Really? Did not know that. So here, for example, I can choose vegetables. Chicken coop. Goat. Apple Orchard, which we we can choose to unlock. We don't have the unlock for it. I already showed you that earlier. Barley extension. Wow. 
tailoring armor armor's workshop wow that means i need bigger plots huh yeah that means i need to design better plots interesting huh Bran uh, development branch missing plot level too low not enough wealth okay very very cool though All right, this is fine, right? This is fine, right? We have what water well over here, right? Resource. Oh my god, they're stealing all my tools. Bullshit. All the things they steal. Those are really expensive. Yeah, those are expensive. I need stones, right? You work on the stones. Yeah, we definitely need more stones. More stones needed, sire. Reminds me of Stronghold. It's kind of cool, right? He's like taking little bits of the wood. Setting up his little house there. So where did this guy decide to place his poop house? He decided to put his pooper in the back, right? That guy wants the pooper in the back. Actually, there's no family living in there yet. I guess the way it works is the family gets whatever plots. How to population grow by the houses or by making love? Oh, so population growth is based on your approval rating. So you need at least 50% for new families to want to join you. And the approval rating is based on your food variety. So the more variety of food you have, the more likely, and the morale of your troops too, right? Then the more likely new families will want to join. Right now I only have... Oh hey! I got a new guy joining now. Or I have seven now. I have a new family. Somebody just joined. Yep, somebody just joined. And families are assigned to to different uh, job functions or work buildings, right? In addition to the work building they're assigned to, they can do stuff in their backyard. Now this guy, okay, so hang on, this guy here, this family has a family of three. Later when you upgrade, you can actually, I think you can increase the size of your family. All right, so the family is basically the entire family is is working on that particular thing that that's that it's assigned to, right? Oh, hey, now I got eight people now. Woo, look at that, I got eight. So the woodcutter does the firewood, and so the family members will sell the woodcutter at the stalls over here, right? The food stall here is um, a stall for whoever. They go there, basically, to sell whatever food, right? I guess they're sharing it, right? Because the Hunter family is also probably contributing to this food stall. I think they're just rotating, taking turns. So that's interesting. It's not one stall per family, then. Ah, I see. Welcome, new family. Right. I'm going to add in a forester. And then I'm going 
to go add in a a trader and we're gonna trade our planks I can't choose it yet Lock because of trade rules what trade rules what trade rules? Desire surplus locked because of the surplus is set no trade. Wait, what? Trade rules? I don't remember this. Desired surplus locked because the trade rule is set to no trade. What's the what's the trade rule? What's a trade rule? There's a trade rule? I didn't realize there's a trade rule. What's a trade rule? I, I, that's the first time I'm seeing that trade rule. I was able to trade it immediately. Locked because the trade rule is set to no trades. Where's the trade rule located? Did I set the no trade rules? Where did I set my trade rules? Where did I set my trade rules? No, right. I didn't set any trade rules. Public order. Governs a chance of crime occurring now, right? Where's the trade rules? Desired surplus. That's planks, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. That's that button right here. Okay, I knew I did something wrong. Export. Export. After paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region for trade. Only the specific type of good. Uh, okay, right, right, right. I'm gonna wait. Somebody will come through. I don't have to establish a trade route. It costs me money to establish a trade route. So I'm gonna export this for now. Um, and then... I think this is... How much I want to keep, right? Current surplus and desired surplus. So I can't, I can't sell anything until this goes up. Let me go back to the the saw pit guys and then increase that. Um, there, that should work now, right? Okay, that's perfect. So I need to start generating. There we go. I, I started generating some money. So once I get 15, I'm going to tell whoever living in this house to start planting some vegetables. So that is the plan. Forrester is Let's see here. I want to make put trees around this area, right? And this guy has nothing to do. Yeah, I already ejected him. And this guy is doing stones? We don't need more stones anymore. We're gonna want to get tannery, right? Do we have hides? I don't know if we have hides. Where's my hides? We do have hides, okay. So, converts hides to produce leather, right? 
So we want a tannery. Somewhere. Okay, that's the woodcutter's hut. Decisions, decisions. I mean, probably across the street is a good idea, right? Sure. Hey, Master H221, thank you for that raid. Appreciate that. That one right there. Okay, now we actually have some money, right? So let me go ahead and assign this guy to vegetables. These guys also vegetables. And then these guys here. More chicken. More chicken. We like chicken. We like Chick-fil-A here. Chicken, chicken, and goats. Goats. Cool. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we got nine people now. Saw pit. Forcer's hut. Woodcutter's lodge. There's a... Stone cutter, logging camp. Okay, we're gonna probably want to get a person to do the clay, right? Okay, so that would be for clay. You know what? I go. I do have extras, so we'll go ahead and add that guy in there. And the tanner is over here, right? We we can add the tanner in that one. Cool. We're moving along. It's winter. Let's take a look at the winter landscape here. Now it's freezing at night, right? Who wants to run in the backyard? In the middle of night to this outhouse here, right? Everyone else decided to have their outhouse right next to their their house. This guy has to walk all the way over here in the middle of the night to poop. Speaking of, let me go ahead and add a, a road through this. Oops. Yeah, let, me, let me clear this road here. I don't want. I don't want this road here. Not the road. Uh... Oops. Oops. Curving, it's curving. Fine. There, I don't. I didn't want the curve. There you go. Everyone can leave in the backyard. Resource stolen by nearby bandits. Jesus. We gotta do something about these bandits. Alright, to get the next level, right, I need a church. I also need to build a manor. My manor. Where do I want to place this? 
Where do I want to place my manor? Hmm. Maybe by where all the, the stones are. Maybe, I don't know yet. I guess over here, right? Over here. My manor. I got it's chopping the tree down. Nice, very nice. Sure. Now, what do I want? Welcome to the Castle Planner. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. Right, okay. I mean, eventually the clay pit will go away. I don't think the clay pit renews. I don't know, hang on. Let's close out. I don't know if I want to... I might change my mind here. Where do I want to put my manor? I don't know if the clay pit is depletes or not. Oh, it does deplete. I have to upgrade to a deep mine to get to go deeper. Uh, ju you just need to dump some water in the clay, and it will give more clay. All oh, right, right. Well, there is a deep mine, so there is a deep mine. I think the stone eventually goes away, right? Yeah, I think the stone goes away. Yep, I think the stone goes away. So... I don't know if that deletes my rocks. It doesn't say it will. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and have the treasury, the tax office next door, right? Yeah, alright. I'll commit to that. Do I, I don't want... I don't, maybe. Do I want a garrison? Provides 10 garrison space. Garrison units and villagers shoot projectiles at approaching enemies. Garrison towers. I don't think I need that right away. I can always come back, by the way. So you, you can redo your thing if you want. I'm going to commit to this for now. I have enough, right? Yeah, I do. I'll commit to that one. Message. We've received reports of a band uh, of a band of raiders roaming the nearby land. Should we track their steps? Yeah, of course, let's track them. We are now in March, right? The clearance water. <laughs> yeah, everyone's dump your clearance water in here for for clay. We get clay pit in this game, guys. We get clay pit in this game. Right, so that's a tannery. Nine ten. All right, so I have housing for t or space for two more ho or families, right? Are you in here? You are in here. Let's do vegetables. I'm 
Oops, I don't I don't think anyone's in here yet, right? That well that one yes. Oh 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 some of the families move into the tax office too. Some of them live as servants. It's probably why I don't have everyone there. This is Let's do some goats. Do we want more goats or chickens? I've got eggs, right? I'm gonna do more hides. More goats. Chickens. Not enough wealth. Yeah, that's fine, it's fine. This is extra space, right? Extra space, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Trading post. Cannery. Alright, I'm gonna put a, another water thing in here. Oh, it requires underground water. Where's my underground water source? Oh, the, look, the nearest water source is over here, right? Let's see here. Water source. Yep, alright, we want that in case this catches on fire. And that happened during my offline playthrough where the manor <laughs> caught on fire and I had to rebuild it. So that was pretty bad. Alright, okay, look at this pit, it's already done. Kinda cool. We need more workers here. We need more workers here. Finest wares. What do you have? Food stall. Firewood. What is this? That's also a food stall. Oh, we have more food stalls. Cool. Man, this market is huge, right? I think I should probably shorten this down. I don't think I need a large stall like that. I feel bad because if I delete this, they have to rebuild their stalls. Yeah. So this guy is basically building the the tax office in addition to the, the manor. Yeah, okay, that's cool. It's fine. Let's check here. We're waiting on the clothing stall, right? The tanner has to create the leather so that he can sell it. I feel like I should redo my marketplace segment. They actually have tiny little stalls. Over there. On this far side when they live all the way down the street here. Do I have enough wood? I do have enough wood. Get the church in here.
Would I want the church across the street? No, probably not, right? any other way. Alright, let's go with that. That's fine. I'm okay with it. They'll satisfy their church needs. Of 12 people, right? It's 10 of them too? Okay. Or how's my... Hang on. Where... Where is my... Okay, so I'm gonna probably do farming over here somewhere along this side. And then some of the farm buildings over here, right? Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, mister, what are you doing? He's on the sign, he's going home. He's probably one of the builders. Yep, I have space for two two more families to show up. Let's do this so I can start collecting taxes. Oh, oh, wait. I don't have any families on this. We need to start collecting more berries. Some fruity tooties. Is that the guy that was supposed to be collecting the berries? Oh yeah, that is the guy. No, he's not. Cunts. <laughs> His name is Cunts! Oh my god! Mr. Cunts! How are you doing, Mr. Cunts? What are you up to, Mr. Cunts? This is heavier than it looks. It is? Oh, I didn't realize that. Nickel. Your oats. What are you doing? Sister. Els. Peter. Fritz dude, right? I don't think you can name, rename your villagers. I'm pretty sure you can't rename your villagers. Oh, you can. Looks like you can rename your villagers. <laughs> oh, you can rename your villagers, guys. Who wants to be a villager? Who wants to be a villager? We have two Fritz. Come on. Seriously? How do we have two Fritz? You are team... Goja. Tingoja. You are a carpenter, Tingoja. Tingoja, that is you. That's you, Tingoja, right there. Kind of cool, right? You can name villagers. Just by going to their housing. Brian, let's see here. Let's find a name for Brian. Nickel. Huspin. All right, Brian, this is you. We'll, we'll we'll give you this guy. Oh, I gotta go back. Brian. Brian, that is you. T. Griff? I don't know if it's... I think it's kind of long, right? Brian TG, that is you. Well, welcome to the uh, village. Welcome to the Empire. Anyone else wants a name? Shepin, right? Shepin, what would you like to be, Shepin? Any preference? You, if you want to be a woodcutter, I can assign you to a woodcutter. Actually, I don't know who the woodcutter is. I have to hunt him down. This guy is a tanner, right? Is 
This guy's a goat. Let's see here, this is a goat family. Who else is a goat family? Jorg? Okay, so Brian, you can you can have a wife if you want. Or sorry, Shepin, right? Shepin, you you can have a wife here. Shepin 69. Or 89, right? 89. My bad. 89. That is you, Shepin. That's kind of cool. Speed this up. Oh my goodness. Speed this up. So preparing for the attack, as long as we have units, then we are fine. We are prepared. We just have to have a, a set of units. We don't need to rally right now. The only time you need to rally is when you actually need to interact with the, uh, the battlefield itself. But having a, a, a militia right here ready to go uh, should satisfy this. We have like 345 days, I think. I think that's days. And so we're prepared, so that's not an issue. I think it's for the case of where you don't get the shipment for free. Uh, you have to make your own weapons. That timer is um, there to allow you enough time to buy the weapons via import or produce it. In our case, we actually got the, um, the weapons upon construction of the storage house and make sure everyone's got homes once they all have homes there's no homeless the, the weapons get shipped to you another ruler's army was sighted what? What the hell? Where are they going? Oh shit. They're going through our territory. Are you trying to conquer? I think he wants claims. Or or he just bought basically mercenaries. I think what ha what's happening is he bought mercenaries and they, they're coming from this direction. And so they're walking through my territory towards his area. Or he's taking out the bandits. Oh man, they're all, they're fighting on my land. What the hell are you guys doing? You're fighting on my land. Or it's the raiders. I think it's probably the raiders. No, outlaws. Yeah, I guess the raiders. <laughs> Outlaws are raiders? I'm pretty sure they're raiders. Yeah. On my land, huh? Come on. Where are you guys? They're over there on the opposite side of my territory. Alright. Speed this up a little bit. Ooh. You got plenty of that, right?
I should probably buy another another hitch post. Or accept another hitch post for another ox, right? Side families become permanent ox uh, guides, which speeds up logistics. What is this? Why is there a one there? I don't a red one. I don't know what the red is. Am I losing something over here? Oh, I'm losing wood that's on the ground there, probably. Alright, it's gone now. Where's the well? Hmm. Where do I want to place this? We got one right there. I don't know if that's a good spot or not. I don't know. Sure, let's go with that. I'm okay with that. I need to buy one though. Can I buy another one? Order a new horse. I can't buy any livestock. That hitch post is probably not gonna be useful. I might be able to buy it, right? Yeah, I could buy another one. Yeah, yeah, I think once that's established, I can probably buy it. Upgrade to small stable, expands stable space by one? Oh. Well, I might not need that one then. We'll see. I mean, I can always move it. Moving it's free. There's a button to move the hitch post. So tired. All right, so we have eleven months. Still good, right? Why is this taking forever? Planks and stones. We have planks and stones. Yeah, we have planks and stones. There's very high, right? There's very high. Is there an emergency? I don't know if there's an emergency. Highest. Oh yeah, there's three. You know what it is? There it is like against the storm, right? One. Two, three. Right, medium. Low. Low. It's not as. Against the storm has like what? 10? 11. 11 different levels, right? Zero? Yeah. Against the storm has 11 levels. Zero to five. And negative five to zero. Yeah, let's speed this up. Oh yeah, these people are... are creating vegetables. We need to increase our vegetables. this up here. Oh yeah, he does walk through from the backyard, doesn't he? Okay, so we've got what? 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? Man. The construction priority is high. I don't know why they're taking so long. It's taking forever. Requires refueling. What the hell does that mean? Resource stolen by bandits. Wonder if it's because the people are busy plowing their homes. Yeah, this this really is taking forever. Or is it because the ox is not? No, the ox is moving. Looking at the two different windows, why one is not being built. Okay, the, the other one is moving along. The manor is actually moving along. It just takes forever to get the the stones over there. Construction finished. Firewood stall. Oh, they they were probably making a firewood stall. There you go. The manor... The manor is actually getting built now. One more unit. Then we can start taxing people. Workers here. We always need more workers. Oh, that's a bad idea, huh? Cancel. I guess better to rotate the other direction. Yeah, see, then you get a bit more. Sure. We need more workers here. Nice. Policies unlocked. The Empire. Taxation. Click on the Taxes tab after selecting your manor. You set levels of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and... And influence at the cost of making your population poor. Got it. Um, we want 10% of everybody. They're not happy, but that's okay. Clothing supply now is ready. Um, Thai, right? I think it's called Thai. I think it's pronounced Thai, right? Thai. At first I thought it was Titty, Titty or something, but it's called Thai. And that is the church.
Okay, we actually have enough people now, right? Wow, we actually have full 12. We need to have, have more housing. Chicken, right? Chickens. Chickens. Oh, I don't have enough money. I need more housing. What do I have? 36? Finer wares. Four? I don't know about four. Berries! Some guys selling berries. road here. That way. We're gonna have a bigger plot this way, right? Five homes. The other guy had six. Those other ones had six. Oh, it could have six if I go like this, right? Alright, there we go. That's six. Yeah, let me look at my zoning. Yeah, okay. I want five. I might want bigger than that, though, right? Because if I give them more space, they can actually do more stuff there. Alright. Because then they can do more stuff with their upgrades if I give them more space, right? Oh wow, what's this? What's the plus one? Extension plots. What is that extra plus one? I don't know what that extra plus one is. I've never... Oh, I guess you get a house and then you get like somebody else also in the second living quarter. This is everyone shares the big house. This is like a... An extra quarters. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Should probably try that. Let's give that a go. Try a different layout system here. See how that works out. Give more plots. We have tiny little homes and then we have bigger plots. And then even bigger plots over here, right? So this guy basically needs the church running, so we can upgrade to level two. Finest hides in all the lands. Berries. Alright, 
we should probably start taking advantage of our our mining here. Mining pits. I can go back towards this road right here, right? Sure. Let's not make it perfectly straight. It's probably fine, right? This is the hitching post. We can add another ox here, right? Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Trader available in 29 days. Upgrade a small stall. Oh, I can only buy it once. Okay, cool. It's fine. Cool, cool, cool. So we're waiting on the church. That's what their needs are, and then we can actually click on this upgrade. And you are the goats, right? Or no, chicken, right? I think you're a chicken. Chicken, chicken. Three chickens. One chicken, two chicken. Three chicken. One chicken, two chicken. Three chickens. Let's go with three chickens. Three chicken, three goats. Alright, three chicken, three goats. 30 eggs is kind of meh, but whatever. Alright. Policy is available. What do we have now? Hunting ground. Wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of crops. We don't have any rich deposits. I'm pretty sure we don't have rich deposits on the animals, right? Yeah. What's my other choice? Citizen skip fifth meal reduces food consumption and decreases approval. No, I don't want to do that either. No, I don't want any of these policies. Work in progress? Wild animals on rich deposits. This is terrible, right? I don't have any rich deposits on the, uh, the wild animals. That's probably why one of this other content creator was like, Oh, he saw my layout and I was like, Oh, you have a uh, rich deposit on wild animals. Lucky, right? So this probably makes it so that if I had a rich deposit for wild animals, that I would take. But since I don't have rich deposits on the wild animals, there's no point in taking this. And there's no reason to take this, right? Because then people will be pissed. Citizens skip every fifth meal? No, right? Yeah, all of these are work in po progress kind of useless choosing any of this all right I'm not gonna mess with policies locked in early access yeah there's no reason to choose any of this I don't have a rich deposit of this and I certainly don't want to lower my approval right so that's not useful yeah that's not useful New mercenaries are available. Okay, cool. Okay, 
Okay, those guys are available because... Because I uh, made the manor. Those are basically on reserve. They're not actually using it right now. I'm not gonna do anything about that. I need to start making some or buying some, right? Do I have enough money? Route required. Since it's a major trade, a trade route is required first. After paying to establish a trade route, um, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only the specific type of good. Okay. I think I need to start making these myself, though. Yeah. Hmm. I probably should just make them. I don't know. Policies available. You don't care about the policies. Pretty sure I can't choose anything else, right? There's no, yeah, I don't, I can't do anything. Oh, terrible. Terrible. What's this say? Expand living space. Doubles the maximum family count for this uh, burgerage. Burgage, 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 not burgerage. Burgage. Okay, so that is the extra living space that we we talked about earlier. There's nobody living in here though. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade this. And maybe somebody will move in there. Somebody might go, oh hey, that's an awesome house. I want that lot. I want that lot down the street. Deposit exhausted mining pit. Oh, really? Already? Deep mining rights. General storage is full. That's this guy, right? It's not the forester sent. No. Not that either. Why is it? Why, why is this one? Why is that full? Sure, let's just take that out, I guess. It's probably this one right here, right? Can't do anything with that. Take this away. Speed this up. What, what about stones? Nice and timber? Okay, why don't we add in a horseshoe sign here? And then you are still working on that one, right? Trading post, right? We got clothing. New mercenaries available? Okay, yeah, fine. Can we add more mercenaries right now? I don't think we can. Requires like 45 minimum. We have what? 14 now? Okay, cool. No one's moving into this one though. Shit. Oh, look at that. Enables production of war bells. I really need somebody to move in that one. 
Yep, I need somebody to move in that one. How about this one? How about this one? Oh, somebody's in this one already. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I need two anyways. Somebody's moved in that one too. Yeah, they did. Alright. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. It only costs four. Okay. Well, I'm glad I actually made larger plots because we can expand the homes so we have more workers working on this. I think that's that's a good idea, right? I know what it is. It's this guy right here. It's the fuel. It's the fuel. We're low on fuel. Charcoal, right? Yeah. Are you done yet? You're still working on yours? You're still working on yours? Jesus Christ. September! What's going on? Wake me up when September comes. Oh shit, my approval? What is this? This burger is plot loss. Causes a loss of approval. Check the building panel for details. Wait, wait, which one? This burgage plot, which one? Oh, those? Lost approval. Wait, why they lost approval? Why are they losing approval? Why are you losing approval? Tailoring? Blacksmith. What's joiners? Enables production of wood parts? Shields? Ooh. Production focus. Artesian workshops can sometimes produce multiple types of goods. To select what good is being produced, check the general tab in the building. Got it. Building panel, right? Ooh, from malt. Enables production of wooden parts and shields. Enables production of shoes. Converts all inhabitants of Artesia, locking them from being assigned to other jobs. We have Warbow, right? This is the Fletcher's, right? Fletcher's shop. Oh, look at that. It's kind of cool. Oh, they're making bows. Well, that one does not have anything. That's probably why he's not happy. Okay. Well, let's make some shields then. You have a family. Upgrade you. Oh, there's a family in that one too. Blacksmith, right? Makes tools. Yeah, let's do a blacksmith. Alright. Wait, who's who who's the disapproval? 
Uh, fuel stall is low. Approval will fail if not fulfilled. Shit. Oh no! They need fuel, right? Fuel. I should have a point now, right? Perfect. So now we can do charcoal kilns, cover, convert one wood. Okay, so we need to get a charcoal kiln. Slight amount of rain. I don't think that's why they're upset. They're upset because they're not getting enough fuel. Oh my god, this thing is huge. That's what she said. It's huge. Look at this. Yeah, they're not happy because of the fuel. Fuel stall supply is low. Need to jack up more fuel. Oh, I don't have enough fuel stalls. What's this? Storehouse. Pack station. What's pack station? No, 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 not that one, right? I think it's because I need a stall nearby over here. I think that's one of those. No one's selling shit nearby. See, no one's selling shit nearby. That's only space enough for two stalls. Or, sorry. Good number, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which means my other stall is just way too big. My granary. It's pretty low. Yeah, see, my approval rating went away. Somebody needs to go over here and sell shit. That guy, right? Fuel stall supply. Well, I, mean, I guess I don't need it over here, right? It's the supply that's over here, right? I really didn't make this smaller. If I delete this, construction resources will be uh, refunded. Press to demolish this building. There's like 45 locations there. Alright, hopefully this is not... You know what, I'm gonna save this just in case. Yeah. Because I don't want to have to deal with the consequences of screwing up. Yeah, see that's all right there. Oh, 
suficiente. Why is this so... Such a huge gap there. Sure. Hopefully that... That will make the stalls closer. Oh my god, all that stuff is dumped out. Who else is on there? That needs to move before the weather thingy kicks in, right? Yeah, all that needs to be removed. I need to get another one of these. Yeah, people are not happy. What's this say? Work area is empty. Oh yeah, let's take this off. Food needs to be delivered. It's mostly food, right? It's mostly food. Oh, the stalls got moved over here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, all that needs to be removed. Hunters? New archers. Oh hey, cool. I get archers now. Of archers. What is this one? Shields? What is that one? What type of worker uses that? Nope. Fletchers. What, who uses this? I think it's whatever this guy is, right? Yeah, whatever that guy is. Let's hire some mercenaries. These men seem to provide themselves on steady from rich and poor. They also seem to wear extremely tight hosen. <laughs> uh, what is it? New to the region, hailing from far west, the region of Francia. Fran Francia. Their customs and tongues are strange, and they rarely mix with the locals, spending what money they they acquire in taverns or retreating to nurse their drinks in the deep woods. Okay. Men in tights? The Brotherhood of the Forest? Yeah, this is like Robin Hood's Merry Band or something. Alright. Well-disciplined fighters for, un for an unknown reason. They discarded the sword and only used maces and axes as weapons of choice. Oh, these guys are amazing. I should probably get those. I need to save up money for those guys. Yeah, is this some junk right here? It needs to be mo moved. I see, I wish it was like a priority. It just sits there on the floor. It's crazy. We're gonna lose all that, huh? wood, right? Planks. Oh yeah, we definitely need more planks. That's firewood, right? We definitely need firewood. Oh, the charcoal. Okay, oh, hang on. Let me take this off. Switch it to the charcoal. 
then that way we'll get more fuel. Or sure so I was working on that, right? Granary. Alright, so all the food is out. Okay, so we don't have a problem there anymore. Okay, so new mercenaries are available, okay. Timber could, we could use more timber. And then that one requires the next level, right? For me to spend the points. Oh yeah, I don't have enough. Rationing. Yeah, the only they're only hap they're unhappy because I'm taxing them. I don't have enough market food variety. Cause I destroyed the uh, the stalls earlier. Three stalls is three. Okay. Three stalls is fifteen. Okay. Alright, so I've got like what? One, two wells, three wells, two wells. I have two wells. I think I might need more wells. I just feel like I really need more wells. Water, right? Where's water? Requires underground water. Oh shit. Can't see it. It's kind of hard to see it during the winter. All the water is over here, right? This lot right here. Yeah, there's like water over here. I think there's water over here too, but I can't. It's kind of hard to tell. It's very hard to tell during the winter. Yep, it's very hard to tell. I guess the best way to do it is like right here, right? Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes. Yes, they won't actually move there. It has to touch the thingy. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting extra water wells here in case we had a fire. These two, these buildings are way too important to burn down. I don't want to lose any of these guys. All right, so you are. We already have a joiner. We have. Wait, we have a blacksmith already too, right? Blacksmith, Fletcher, and joiner blacksmith. Who do you? Missing development branch. Joiners, blacksmith, cobblers. What this one? What does this cobblers do? It's the cobblers is not related on this list. I don't know what I want to do with this last one. I mean, we don't have any ale yet, or malt. I need to start making those. I don't know what cobblers are for. 
Converting all hats. Tailoring. Oh yeah, I think tailoring is good, right? Let's do tailoring. I think that's used to make clothes. So we want that, right? We definitely want that. I do have money now, right? Let's hire the... Oh, let's hire the expansive ones, right? Well-disciplined fighters for an unknown reason. They discard the sword and only use maces and axes as weapon of choice. The origin of these goose is vague. A lot of members use to be broken farmers. Practically anyone can join this company as long as they do not fear death. <laughs> oh my goodness. Light mercenary infantry. This is actually a pretty decent mix group, right? They've got archers, they've got spearmen. What do we have? We have spearmen. We have archers. Alright, we'll probably get this one then. This company is ready to serve you as long as you have the coins. Sign the contract. Alright, let's take those guys then. I think we only have one slot left. I don't know yet. Alright, all right, so we should probably look into farming now, right? We don't have a corpse place. Alright, how, how are we gonna do this? So, we need a farmhouse used to employ families on the field. Farm workers plow the field as soon as the winter passes, but no later than November. Then they sow them, blah, 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 right? Pastures, blah, blah. Provides pasture uh, space for livestock, right? Sheep farm. Sheep must be first be imported via the livestock traders. Communal oven. Workers use flour to produce bread. Okay, and this is the windmill. Alright, so we're gonna want farm field. Plotting the fields. Fields in manor lores need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. For starting village, try a small field size. About one Morgan. What the hell is one Morgan? Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock heavy plow upgrade, which allows plowing much bigger fields far more efficiently, utilizing the ox. Also, remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about what soil they grow on. Sure, all right. And what the hell's Emery? Emmer fertility, right? What the hell's each of these things do? Space to grow various crops, including blah 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 blah. To employ blah blah blah. That needs flour, right? Oh, yeah, I guess flour is. rye. I think rye is for flour, right? Barley? What's barley for? I wish it would tell me exactly what these things are. Um, barley is probably for beer, right? Rye is probably the wheat. Flax is probably like shit for clothes. I don't know what the hell emmer is for. Hmm. Well, let's start with rye then, since there's green. We can't do it on our side, their side, right? Yeah. Well, they, there is a, a way to do it. There's a bug to get to it. I think it says something like have one Morgan, right?
one Morgan's worth. Well, hang on, hang on. How big is the farm house? The hitch post is in the way. One come all. Okay. I mean, that's as good as any, right? For now. Let's go with that, that's fine. It's half a Morgan. It says one Morgan, right? There you go, it's one Morgan size. Sure. Farming. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility, and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types, or even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of like in Farthest Frontier. Uh, fallow fields generate all types of fertility, but have no yields. Wheat. Wheat is threshed into grain uh, at the farm. Okay. After that, it can be processed further into flour and bread. Barley is for the uh, turns can be processed into malt and then into ale. Right. And the flax is into linen. Yeah. So that's already new, right? I already knew these things. Um, so yeah, let's get bread then, right? And then we have this farmhouse over here, right? I don't think I can do enough farmhouse over here anymore. Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think it's allowed. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I can't squeeze that in there. It's fine. You can probably do one across the street here, though. Yellow area is okay. Well, this one. Okay, that could work too. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. The music is crazy, right? It's good, it's good. It's just, it's, I'm just saying it's like all um, churchies, right? The um, prepare thing, I think. What's going on with this? Unassigned families are needed for construction. Yeah, hang on, hang on. 
hang on. Where do I want... Raiders are near. What's going on with this? Two days? I have two days to pay those guys. Oh, I gotta pay 120 in two days? Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta pay 120, uh, 10 in two days. Shouldn't be that bad, right? Shouldn't be that bad. It's February. Where are my people at? Oh, I was in the middle of doing constructions of the farm, right? Oh yeah, I was deciding on whether I want to put place the road here. Want them to be from this side or no? Which one's the bigger end? Mm, they're both roughly the same. Oh, two, huh? I could fit two in there, huh? Interesting. I can only do two or one. Well, two lucky people can move in there. Where is the nearest water? Let's do that and see. Let's find out where I can place water. Oh man, the nearest water is really far. It's over here, right? Hang on, let me cancel this. I, I think I probably want it on the opposite side. Because the nearest water on the other side is over here somewhere, right? What about my fertility? What about my water again? Right over there. Okay, let's go with that then, yeah. Alright, so let's do the housing this direction then. Because that way water is near nearby. It's a big backyard, isn't it? Everyone gets a large backyard. Yeah, it's like a large plot, too. I'm not sure if that's the best... ...spacing, or use of my space, but whatever. But whatever, let's go with that.
I don't know if it has to be on top to get the maximum yield, but I don't think it matters. It's not like Farthest Frontier, the, the higher you, you are on top of it, the more you get. It's kind of like that also in New Cycle. Yeah, see, there's no indication of how much more you get. This is the tailor shop, right? Blacksmith. Okay, so these are probably... You can probably turn this into a... A barley or whatever the hell, right? Bakery extension. Wait, requirements not met. Food stall supply, clothing stall supply. This one is already met. I could leave that at level one for now, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh shit, the Raiders! Let's go! Moving your units, got it. Okay, the combat strength of your units depend on many factors, stances. Check the army tab below to set them. All have pros and cons. Morale is the willingness to fight. If it reaches critical points, some stances become unavailable and eventually the unit will flee from battle. Fatigue, soldiers become very tired when running and fighting. When exhausted, they become no longer fight. Uh, well, effectiveness is the uh, blah blah blah. Is the attack defense multiplier blah, blah blah. You might be hard to fight uphill. Archer struggle with the spots in the rain. Hold tab to inspect the details. There you go. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! I'm winning, right? How do I tell? Spearmen's are mine, right? That's mine. That's mine. Mine. Oh, no, that's their guy. Yeah, I have like a bunch of... Dudes, they only have 12 guys. Okay, this guy needs to back up a little bit. He's the archer. The archer should not be standing in there. Oh, we won. Yay! Yay, go home. How do I tell him to go home? Give ground. Hold. Disband units. Span units. Span units. Span units. There you go. Go back home. Oh, somebody's claiming this. Oh shit. Where? Who? Where? Oh, they're trying to claim my land. Where is it? That's my land, right? Wait, what? No, that's not my land. Enemy has been spotted. That's my forger, right? What? Somebody's trying to come for me? Who's coming after me? Oh, we already won. Yeah, we already 
they want. Maybe it's been spotted where? Oh, that's the area that is is being contested. Somebody wants to claim that spot right here. Let's see here. I think I need to start hiring my dudes. How much money do I have? 75, 70 something. 60, right? Yeah, let's go with the 60. I mean, I can afford 90, but I don't know if I can afford it the next day. Arrive in the the Empire. Yeah, it's fine. Sign the contract. Vegetables so fresh. Show the location of the battlefield. Oh, they want to go right there, huh? To claim that land? They want to go here to claim that land. Okay. Or anywhere in this region, actually. Anywhere in that region. Archers ain't much help in there, I reckon. Probably not. The reason I picked that is because... Um, when they arrive, it says where they're arriving to. So you actually have to walk them to your location. So I've, I've in my playthrough... I uh, hired mercenaries that was like way across the map and the land that was being contested was on the other side of the map. It was kind of useless getting them to walk to my current lo the, the location of the battlefield. So I ended up losing overall. How do you know it's the most wish listed? Um, there is a uh, database. Hang on, let me show you. Uh, I could link it to you. If you go to this link it gives you a list it takes you to information it, it basically pulls the information off of steam whoa 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 uh. Let's go. So that list right there, and they actually even said it on their, they are, they were, I guess, uh, boasting that information on their site. If you go to the, uh, if you go to their website, actually, or the uh, Steam page, it actually literally says. All right. Yes, yeah, so there's another hooded horse game. Against the Storm is doing really well. Mana Lord is probably going to do super, super well. Oh, that's a bug. I already reported that one. Oh, they're coming, huh? Yeah, they're coming into my territory. You guys. Hang on, we want to go together, right? Not as individuals. Alright, this is my retinue. Saving right now. Okay, so the enemy has that many, right? And they want to contest me. 
Let's go. Let's, let's take them out before they they bring in their reinforcements. It's so weird, right? There's a bug right now in the game where you tell them to go forward. Sometimes they go backwards. Some of the other content creators have pointed out in the channel, in the private channel of the Hooded Horses Creator Lounge area. So I did a coverage of another game called Thrive. Uh, Heavy Lies the Crown. It's similar to this, actually. It's another interesting game. But it's not as pretty as this. I can definitely tell you that. But the concept that the Heavy Lies the Crown is very similar to this. Where's the other dudes? Where, where are the dudes that's in my... Oh, they're hidden again. I don't know. There we go, there we go. Oh my god, there's... They're right there. Guys. Go! Oh man, I'm getting ambushed left and right. Let's finish that guy off. Oh no, shit, 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 shit. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I don't think I'm gonna win this. What is this? Another archer group. I can't make more, right? I think I have six. How much money do I have? Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, no! I don't have enough money. You don't have- you have only ten, I believe. Thirty- uh, eleven? Yeah. Oh, my archers are going down. Yes. I remember seeing the trailer for this and I think it looked amazing. But now you're not so sure? What do you mean? Why don't you think it looks amazing anymore? Did I win? I'm winning, right? Oh shit. My archer is probably gonna go down. Red is mine, right? Red is mine. That's the red archer from my mercenary camp. Okay, I do have a lot of... Oh shit. Add another group? Can't. I can only have six. These guys need to go. Oh my god, the yellow is really killing me. Oh my god. Oh, they're fleeing. Oh, Jesus. My mercenaries are fully- Oh my god, my mercenaries. We're losing. Oh man, we are losing hardcore. What is this? Bodies needs buried? Oh Jesus. Yeah, we're not gonna win. Cause look, they got like 28 and we got like what, 3 and 6? Is EA 14 days or- It's uh, early access. Early access. It's not 1-0. I think 1-0 is probably going to be a year from now. Yeah, at first I wasn't too sure about this game either because I played the demo like a year and a half ago. 
and it lagged a lot ridiculously but for for now yeah i miscalculated the size of the force right they came out of nowhere on the side right here they must have hired like a bunch of mercenaries oh jesus christ well, i'm getting slaughtered ron the best of us ron that was crazy seems like it lags like crazy this game will right this version right here is not lagging it's definitely not lagging here it was lagging a lot in the the original demo like if you watch my original demo playthrough it was lagging significantly this here is not not lagging the artwork icons are similar to the obsidian's game i lost the battle Shit. It literally just did? Maybe it's because of the stream. I don't think it's lagging. It looked fine to me. The battle might be more glitchy, though. Yeah, the battle might be glitchy. Oh shit, what is this? Approval critically low. Oh shit, oh man. People are not happy with me. I need to turn off the taxes. What's my graphics card? It's in my bio. I mean, I'm, I'm having to turn... You missed the earlier part of the stream when I walked through all of this. The, watch at the beginning of the stream when I talked about this. I had to lower a lot of this because I'm streaming it. Keep in mind that I have to do the encoding while also playing the game. So that's one of the, the things, the challenge is, is playing this. I don't, I'm playing all on the same machine, so other streamers might have a better video card and other streamers might actually have a second computer. And the way you can do that is play on your main machine. I don't play a lot of shooter games, so that's why I always play on my main. This is the only game that I actually end up having to buy a new rig when I played the Manor Lore demo like a year and a half ago it was so bad that it prompted me to buy a brand new computer and a new graphics card. Most of my games, I, it's not as graphics intensive. I mean, it definitely hums my, my video card fan. I need to turn off the, the taxing here because my people are not happy. Yeah, I need to start burying these bodies, too. Holy shit. The cemetery. Cemetery is huge. No, I don't want to connect to that. Yeah, let's just build it right there. Yeah, that's fine. Go around that spot there. You gotta build the court, the cemetery, right? do that so what's your winning condition my current win condition is uh i think conquer i selected the middle defeat all the or get all the claims in this area or something like that i gotta defeat the yellow guy basically so i've got outlaws to deal with and then i have this dude hildy bolt von burnett and he's trying to like take out all the lands around me and he's in the north side because that's what this, the game said in the description so he's taking the land across from me and the battle was being contested like right here on my own turf right here right because he just basically crossed from here to there 
I think what happened was he hired a bunch of units, mercenaries, coming from the south, and he walked across his land from the north over here, this direction earlier, like this. And then whatever he hired came from this side. Because whenever you hire units, it tells you where they're coming from or where they're going to come into, right? See, it says arrive in whatever the hell, right? So I had, I picked, I hired the one that arrived in my land. They came from this side and I dragged them over here. And that guy must have hired whoever from to this spot over here. Settlement level increased. Okay, that's good, right? New development points, that's good, right? I want to get the deep mining. Right, because deep mining allows me to upgrade my my mines that's on rich deposits, right? I don't think that's a rich deposit. Yeah, it's not oh, okay, yeah, since I I'm done with this then. I can't use this anymore. That pit is useless. So here's what I was telling you about before was that what I don't like about the game is the mechanics where you d demolish something. It takes forever for them to remove that log and there's no way to like tell them the priority system, right? Or say, hey, I want this log removed first. And there's no actual storage either for the uh, log um, for the logs. This is the internal storage to the logging camp. Unless unless somehow that gets carried over here. That may be a thing, I don't know, but this definitely needs a priority. Okay, so why is that an issue, right? Why is that an issue? So let's say I had I had that play pit there and I salvaged it and I decide to rebuild it again. Well, that's because it's got no deposits in range, but let's say I want to do a, a woodcutter's lodge, right? Or a logging camp. That little, see, see, that thing there basically prevented me from placing it. Now it's actually being removed, so the the little circle supply is actually not there anymore. So this in this situation, this guy is probably hauling it over to the firewood or the for the woodcutter's lodge. But at the start of the game, it was sitting, uh, it would have sat there forever, right? It actually shows them dragging the log. Yeah, it does show them dragging the log away. Yeah, it does. And it shows the ox in use. Ox are required to, to drag logs away. They don't carry logs, by the way, in this game. Oh, I need corpse diggers. Oh, I lost a lot of family members. Holy shit, I lost a lot of family members. Oh. That was because of the battle, right? I went from like 13, 14 family members down to six. Oh my goodness. That was a costly battle, guys. I gotta now readjust. We need more people to show up. I can't get more people until my approval rating goes up. It needs to get to like 50 plus to be able to to get new families to join us. So yeah, the way it works is I have to have an approval rating of 50 minimum before new families want to come into migrate to my village or my settlement I have a small town right no oh, sorry my current is village village large village I have a large village so my burgish I need two more level twos and then two uh, plots of level three is later, right? What's level three requiring?
Okay, I need more clothing stalls. I need a tavern. I need a church level too. Not enough supply of any of the falling materials in the marketplace. So I need, I need clothes and cloaks. But I think the family that makes the clothes died. Yeah, the family that makes the clothes. This well, okay, there is somebody there. I think she lost her husband. So, and her her, her sons. All right, I'm I'm starting to increase again, right? Eight. Yeah, see, there's a family level two, but they're not assigned because they're probably kids. And I think the dad died or some shit like that. You know. Poor dads. So we're gonna have to regrow some of that. Alright, so that was... The deep mine only matters for this, right? Yeah, I can get a deep mine off of that. Wait, where's my hunter? My army is pretty much dead. Yep, I have a dead army. Well, this stinks. And we need somebody to bury this, right? So our approval rating goes up. A dead body... Friends, sister, Tori, sister, uh... Resources. Sure, I guess I was trying to... Somebody's hauling the dead body, right? 85 dead bodies. I think that kind of sucks too is that they also died on my land. Yeah, they died on my land. So all the enemy bodies also probably needs to be buried too. Oh, that so, so sucks. Because in my my offline playthrough, the battles was, off, was actually on the land that was being contested. Not my land. I was basically saying, no, you can't have this, and I had to send my army over here. So had I died on this side and their dead bodies were over here, I probably wouldn't have this to deal with. Because I definitely didn't have to deal with that on my other playthrough. <laughs> yeah, useless Emperor. <laughs> So, yeah, I think if they battle on my land next time, I'm just going to say, yeah, you can have it. Too costly. Yeah, bodies can be fueled. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can make one of those. Fry, I think. I don't think I can bury them. I, I can burn them off, though. I don't think I can burn them. Yeah, it's corpse pits. Not all deserve to be buried on uh, consecrated grounds. Use this to get rid of any raider corpse quickly. Workers become grave diggers. The corpse pit, right? So this is a corpse pit. Collecting bodies. This whole family. Is doing the body. <laughs> I feel I feel sorry for the family there. The wife. Yeah, so you can zoom in and see them carry the. Oh, you know what? <laughs> the graphics is missing for the dead body. I think he didn't implement that yet. Yeah, the dead body is artwork is probably not in. But yes, keep in mind this is early access or pre early access. <laughs> this dude is like, I'm carrying a dead body. I'm carrying a dead body.
Did Shepin die? I think Shepin died, didn't he? Because I think Shepin was assigned to this house. Yeah, Shepin did die. Beatrix. Yeah, Shepin did die on that one. I think Brian died too, right? I think Brian died too. Brian TG died. Yep, Brian TG died. Because I know Shepin was the husband in one of these. Yep. This is why you send others out to fight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I hired the mercenaries, but they chickened out. They ran off. I, the first mercenary group that I hired, I didn't have enough to pay them two days later. I think I prematurely hired them when I shouldn't have. All right, because they require payments every two days. As upkeep. So I think that the idea is that you don't want to hire them until you actually are engaged in battles. Poor, poor dudes here, right? Poor family members. Peter Griffin right here, right? Son, husband. Thomas. All right, Thomas. And Tohaman. So this one will be our new Brian, TG. All right, let's go. Let's go find Brian. What's Brian doing? Oh, he's inside the building taking a nap or some shit. He's waiting. Lorenzo. All right, we're gonna name this guy. Shepin. He's. He's a goat farmer. Shepin. There you go. How's my family coming along again? 13? Okay, we're back to 14 again. Approval rating is low. I think some of the family is rebuilding members. They probably remarried. <laughs> Some of the wives probably remarried because only the males um, in the family are recruited into the army. Where's Lunchbox? You, Lunchbox, you want a name? We can add you in here. Lunchbox, you can be in this here. Lunchbox, that is you. Oops. I don't think I can add another eye. Oh, I can. Okay, lunchbox. <laughs> there you go. That's you, lunchbox. You are a husband. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. What am I lacking right now? Planks, right? What else am I lacking? We have lots of fuel, right? We have lots of firewood, holy shit. Let's take this off. Yeah, we don't need to trade anything right now, right? Alright. 74 dead bodies to go. 74 dead bodies to go. I need, I need shields, right? Yeah, I need shields and spears. Blacksmith. Oh, you can choose what you want. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Cloaks, right? 
Fletcher. Shields, right? I need shields. If, uh, if this was Rimworld, the raiders' bodies would have a source of food and spare organs. <laughs> true, true, true. True, true, true. Not advanced enough yet. Early access, guys. Early access. Keep in mind, early access developed by one guy. Actually, Rimworld was developed by one guy, too. I actually played the um, that particular game. Do I even have a farm? Oh, I don't have a farmer. There we go. Farming cycles. The field is not set to fallow. Workers will plow it and, and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows and is harvest in harvested in September during the harvest season. Crop rotation. I guess. Uh, second year is fallow, right? Third year is... Barley? I guess barley. Right, hang on. Rye is good and barley. No, barley is bad. Emmer. What the hell is emmer for? What's emmer for? There's no emmer in this list. What is emmer? There's no Emmer on this list. I don't think we're good at barley on this. Barley fertility's low. What the hell's Emmer? What the hell's Emmer for? for? If the field is not set to fallow, workers will plow it, right? Farm cycles, yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell is Emmer for? Yeah, it doesn't say. What was Emmer for? Pasture. Less flowers for wheat, right? What is Emmer for? Emmer fertility. What is Emmer in real life for? I mean, I knew flax from like playing um, Farthest Frontier. Barley and rye, I already knew those. What the hell is Emmer? Unless there's another thing you hear that I don't know about. Workers use barley to prison malt. It's needed as needs to be refueled. Clay is for clay tiles. Iron slabs. Wool and yarn flax bearings, right? Searched it. Emmer is a type of wheat. Oh, okay. Well, if it's for wheat, then let's try it. But I can't choose Emmer on this list, though. Emmer's not on this list. Yeah, see, Emmer's not on this list. Nope, it's not on this list. I don't know how to grow it. Burn field? Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what Emmer is actually for. Rye, right? Rye is something else. I guess wheat is generic, right? Wheat will work either or situation.
Yeah, wheat will probably work uh, either situation. Farming cycles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing that... I can choose wheat on Emmer, and I can choose wheat on... on Rye. And it's the same. So I guess the fertility is fine e for either situation. Barley, I'm on the red zone, right? I don't, I'm pretty sure my my map is not a uh, a high fertility for barley. All right, well, the, there's yellow across the street. Yeah, so minus is not that great, but this is probably better than nothing, right? Squeeze this in here somehow. What's this one? Cannery. Yeah, let me cancel this. Let me figure out how to add in the the house first. Oh god, tannery. Can I move in the tannery? I can't move the tannery. Yeah, let me move the tannery. Which one is this one? This is the trading post, right? Yeah, see how this is sitting right there? I gotta remove that, because I can't put anything on top of that. Yeah, it won't let me put anything on top of that. Until that's moved. So, and then I wish there was like a priority. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Well... Desire surplus. Oh, I don't have enough planks. Saw pits. Well, it's probably because the Fletcher is using it. I think the Fletcher is using it. I have a ton of war bows. Jesus Christ, I have a ton of war bows. That guy's already maxed out, right? Recruits missing. So here, can I can I export bows, right? Yeah, I want to sell my war bows. No trade. Export. I want to keep. 30 and on hand. Okay, that's fine. This needs to go, right? That has to go. Or I can actually build on that spot. Okay, cool. It's finally gone.
There you go. I need the tanner, right? I gotta put the tanner back. Where am I gonna put this tanner? I guess down here is fine, right? Why is that so many? Make their alt remove. Yeah, no one wants to sell in that spot here. Jesus. My market stall sucks. No one wants to go to that market stall spot. Fine. Tanner. Yeah, everyone wants to go to this one over here. Only have three locations left. Like, I don't think people living there would like the tanner near them. Tanners do not smell very good. Oh, really? Well, tan smell is not in the game yet, so we'll, um... I mean, they got their little outhouse next to them, right? And they're already smelling shit right here, right? So... I don't think that's gonna matter too much right now. Yeah, so the overlay for smell is work in progress. They're not, it's not in the game yet. Well, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and move the tanner somewhere else. Let's put it in the woods then. Fine, you can, we'll put the tanner over here. Smelly house. Smelly, smelly house. Well, I could I could try to rotate this, maybe. And buy more space that way. What about the well? Yeah, let's see. The water's over there. Water's over here. water here too, right? I should probably put extra water down, just in case. This guy's not doing anything right. Let's go ahead and redo the redo the farm. I should have redone the farm there. Right again. Is that one Morgan? That's one Morgan, right? And I can't redo the farm here because of the dumb thingy I just demolished. I gotta get rid of the three logs. Out of that direction earlier, right? Or no? Which way did I have the farm earlier? Or was it this way? This one I had the farm. Somewhere else. The hitch post could move. I can move that wherever I want.
come on. Oh, they're just moving it right across the street to build that one over there. Okay, good. Wait, how did I? There we go. Perfect. That's how I want it. So I leave the hitch post there, it's fine. I can do something else along this path here. I don't know what I'm gonna stick there though. Nope, I can't stick anything there. Shit. Yeah, I can't stick anything here. That's basically an empty stall area, maybe. We we'll probably do another stall over here. If I need to. Marketplace, right. Hang on, is the... what? what is the other ones? Windmill? Shit. Road, obstructed. What's my other one? Sheep farm? Nope, can't do the sheep farm. Communal oven? Jesus Christ. Can't even create a communal oven. I think if I shift this back a little bit more, then yeah. Alright. The problem is, I can't build it if I tear it down. That's the problem. Because all that is going to sit there on the floor. It won't let me build on top of the supplies that's left over. Can't squeeze any in there. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Leave it. What is this packing station? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Alright, so we want wheat. Crop rotation. We want fallow. Third year, we want wheat. Some type of wheat. Crop rotations. Barley, right? Wait, do we have flax? I mean, we could do barley. Or sorry, flax on this one too, right? Or no? Yeah. Do rotation. Fallow. And then flax. We have family there. I need more families. 17. Only have 18 living space. Wait, how do I have extra homes? How do I have these extra homes? You are brewery, right? Development branch missing is bakeries. A malt. I'll have to choose that later. I need to add more homes. I have okay, I have one more spot left. Living space. I have one more spot left, right? These guys live over here. So two families are here. I have living space. I need more housing. All my all my burials are done, right? I guess you need a you need a dude here. Oh either buried in the backyard. Oh <laughs> backyard. I wonder what happens when I destroy this. You know, it's probably a bad idea, right? I think that might be a bad idea.
Where else can I add people here? I could add them across the street, right? Backyards here, okay. Any new homes? How many? How much wood? Oh, I don't have a lot of wood. Shit, I don't have a lot of wood, guys. I need more wood. A uh, goop from a hide smell like cherries. <laughs> Thank you for that. Goop from hides smell like cherries. Another ruler's army was sighted. Bandit camp was sighted. Not on my territory, right? Not on my territory. Another ru ruler's army? Not on my territory. On the backside. Probably gonna fail this... This map. I'm really in a bad situation, or spot. I really don't like my spot. I, I didn't get the I didn't get the rich wild. It would have been nice if I had rich wild because right now the game hasn't developed anymore. I don't know what this is. The locks unlock. Yeah, see, the only ones I can choose is this, which I don't want to do, right? Because then people are gonna be upset. And then this one here is hunting ground. Which, I don't have a rich deposit for the wild animals. So that doesn't help me. Kind of a waste, right? Because if I had rich deposit wild animals, like my off... Off playthrough, I actually would get more food. On that. I have exactly enough food and fuel for 11 months. I need more wood, timber. I have a shit ton of firewood. Holy shit. I've already taken off the woodcutter's lodge, too. Are you doing anything? Do I have to do anything? Force early harvest? No, right? Unlimited work area. Unlimited work area. No, no, no. Unlimited work area. Yeah, so this family should should take care of that one, right? That family should kind of take care of that one. I'm assuming. I don't know. But we're going to need to also get more workers to be able to do the flower for us, right? Process the flower. That is the... Log camp. No. This guy here, right? He needs to make planks. And that guy is selling shit. And my people are, are happy, right? I need to start taxing them again. Alright. We're back to collecting taxes. What do these servants want? What do these servants want? What is this? I have no idea how that works. What is this? Pay from your treasury, I don't have any money. I don't know what this is. Retainer name? I don't know what that, that is. Yeah, I don't know what to do about these guys. That just shows the workplace. I 
Retinue. Recruit missing. A minimum of five equipped recruits is required. Make sure you've got enough recruits and appropriate weapons in the region. I think it's because I don't have enough weapons. I don't know what weapons they use, though. What weapons do they use? What is this? Yeah, I, I, I don't have the equipment for it, probably. Militia is also standing army. They're just kind of like waiting on the sidelines. I don't have enough spearmen's, right? I need spearmen's or uh, spears, right? Spears. This family sucks. What are you missing? I need iron slabs. Oh, which I don't have. Okay. I don't have iron slabs. I think I did make an iron mine, right? I, oh, it's probably because I didn't, um... I forgot to add the workers to it. Oh, that's why. I forgot to add workers. I need more people. I really should just take the family off this. Yeah, alright, so I need to start adding housing now, right? Huge plots. Oh, I need more wood. Oh, that's the thing that's killing me right now. Wood. Twelve, right? Ugh. Policy is available that I don't have. Pantry is full. not full. The granary is fine. How are you full? Oh, you're fine. That's just old notification. I just need more wood. I think I did assign it right. Pretty sure I assigned it. Yeah, I did assign it. So we're just sitting around waiting for my wood so I can add add more homes for more families. So I need to produce iron to be able to produce weapons. New mercenary companies available? Yeah, there's no reason to hire them. because no one's getting forger we're missing berries saw pit yeah forcer's hunt no how's our fuel I don't need any woodcutters anymore right Resource stolen clay? Jesus. We gotta do something about those bandits. We gotta go take care of this outlaw. 
There's a bandit camp over here, right? That's stealing my shit. It's in the other guy's territory. It's probably kind of not my problem. I need to build up a good army to conquer all these lands. Jesus. Am I missing stones? No, I have lots of stones. How's my wood now? Still missing wood. Maybe the forester needs work. Saw? How do, do I need more planks? I don't need more planks. Let me take this off. Add another forester here. Wheat is 38%. Do I even have wheat right now? I don't have any wheat. Their army is below sided. Okay, cool. Door. Generic. Increase generic storage. I'm missing wood. Jesus. Can I cancel that? I don't know if that's a good idea to cancel that. Because I want to redo the line. Right, but that's okay. I guess I'll leave it. I need another... Well, upgrading is fine. Upgrading is fine. We just need more wood. More wood needed, sire. Lots of it. There's so much to do in the game. And yet, I still feel like there's something here that's missing. Right. I need that one, right? Enables uh, armor's workshop, production of helmets. I want that one. I don't have to build spam more storage space. That's like ten times more, right? There you go. Nice. Much better. Much, much, much better. How do I deal with excess pantry stuff? That's food, right? It's probably because I don't have anyone employed in the... the granary... to haul out all the excess food. Hey, Miss Panda Purple. Welcome. Let me throw that in there, see if we can haul out the food. What is this? 
Cheap goods for import. Work in progress. Good value to export. I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, somebody was messaging me about something else. Let's go ahead and hit T. We have a shit ton of stones. It's not bad. Th it's not. Yeah, definitely not a bad thing, but it's not renewable. All right, timber now is done. Right. Okay. So cool. I should be able to to do the housing plots again. So let's do that. We want six? I guess six is fair. Or do we want more than that? Or do we want more than that, right? Or sorry, a bigger, sorry, bigger size. I don't know if the bigger size matters anymore. Five, six. Six is kind of tiny. I think the only reason to have it bigger is so that you can do farming, right? The vegetables. I think that's the only reason. We'll go with this for now, I guess. Alright, let's go with that. And then I'm gonna put the water here. Oh, not enough wood, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna put the road from here over there. Oh, hey, it actually goes through that, huh? Interesting. Really? That's bizarre, huh? Tax office is right next to the dude. Wall gates? Can I move it? Oh, I guess I could move it. I don't think it, it's free though, right? It's free. That one I can- oh yeah, I can move that too. Oh, interesting. Oh, it costs to relocate it. Oh boy, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't need to move it right away. Kind of weird the road runs through that. Wires underground water. There we go. put water in every corner here just in case I don't want my houses though burned down <laughs> having a house burned down is a bad thing you just finished supper hmm what was for dinner I need to get food or something 
can probably just heat up something too. I have a lot of leather, huh? That's a lot of leather. I don't need leather. You don't need leather. My approval rating is pretty good, right? Church level. Church plus, right? People are getting their happiness. What does this do? Church bell sounds? For whom the bell tolls, change the church bell sounds. I got an achievement. Okay. Wow, there's like a whole family living in the church. Connected from the rose, yeah. Pantry. Three stalls open. I think the thing that I am happy about is that this game doesn't have the the upkeep, maintenance, deterioration thingy that Farthest Frontier has. I think that was the most annoying thing in Farthest Frontier is the maintenance. Having to constantly figure out having enough resources just to maintain the buildings from from uh, rotting or whatever, going abandoned. I think that mechanic was probably the worst. I don't know, this is early access, who knows? The developer might change his mind and add that into the game. Re durability, right? It's, it's called the durability mechanics. Aloe. Jimmy Fallon. Which work area is empty? Oh yeah, that's because it's winter. What else? I think I need to get, what? Smelters, right? Oops. Smelter. Loomy. Wait, can I put a road down there? I don't think I can. To redo this. This is heavier than it looks. Does it really? That's a little heavy. One, right? Sure, I guess. Uh, crop rotation. Uh, what was it? We said barley, right? And then the other one was the iron. Which one are you? You're a tannery, right? 
And you're the forester. Why does it look so barren? Well, let's go ahead and read this because I think the I can I get the feeling the the berries are related to the the wood. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. We have a lot of firewood, holy shit. We need more planks. We need more planks. Yeah, let's speed this up. Okay, that did deliver the veggies, didn't it? Trading posts. Make some money. Farmhouse. Wait, we have a farm over here. Right? We do have new people. We're waiting on this. I also need to get the clay converted to something. Oh shit, they sold 15 iron bars for ores. Well, that sucks. I still need, yeah, I still need iron bars to make the spearmen's right. What are you making? What do you need for that? Planks. Oh, you need planks. Yeah, that's not hard. And what do you need? Yarn and dyes. Lenin. Oh my god, I can't make any of this. The tailor can't make any of this. Where, where's Lenin's? What, what, what makes Lenin's? What type of wool? Do I have wool? I don't have wool, right? Produce wool, the yarn, and wool. Workers use wool to produce yarns and flax to produce linens. We need linens. We don't have wool. Wool is a sheep thingy, right? I have to set up like a sheep livestock thingy. Yeah, I have to shut up the sheep farm. I need a pasture too. No, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, we can probably do flax, right? I think flax was on this one. What uses flax? Flax field, right? Okay, that one needs to be flax. So we have basically wheat, wheat, flax. That's fine. It's a long ass winter. Oh, hey, cool. Somebody joined us. That's for hides, that's for eggs. Alright, we can do more eggs. Oh, 
Oh shit, I accidentally upgraded. I did accidentally upgrade that. I didn't mean to. But we do kind of need to upgrade something anyways. Is it a cool game? Yeah, this is a very cool game. Very, very cool game. It's very relaxing too. Very chill. Except for when you go into combat. I really should progress towards my victory condition because the yellow guys, the yellow guy, this guy right here, he's, he's dominating the map right now. I don't have enough influence. Claim with King's favor or claim with influence. And my influence is not there yet. I can only increase influence with the church, I believe. The church is the only means to increase influence right now. Right, yeah, see, percentage of surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. That. I guess go down to three. Collected from general region wealth for every transaction with with a traveling merchant. I don't know how I get that. I think that might be the next level. Yeah, I think it's the next level. I gotta get to level three. How do I even get to level three? I need more variety for clothing. I need church to go to the next level. I need I need a tavern, right? Jesus. So that means I gotta start making beer. I gotta start making beer. Oh, new policies. Every time it says policy is available. The thing that sucks is I don't I don't have the uh, the thingy. It's not available in early access. It's not developed. This is not developed either. A lot of this is not developed. Still cool though. Still cool, fun game. It's this right here that's causing this alert. You see that? Whenever the log is gone, this box is gone. It's so annoying. Generic storage full. That is full. Yeah, that needs to go away. Or the developers need to fix that. Hey, I got more people joining. Cool. Ooh. What can I choose? Shoes, right? Let's do shoes. Yeah, let's do shoes. Bandit camp was signed in? Where's that located? That's not nowhere near us, so I'm not worried about that. Unless they actually travel over to our location. So we actually now have extra workers, right? 
Uh, where's that? There you go. Requires refueling. Sure. You'll reserve? I don't need reserve. Hmm. Sure, let's get another farmer. Go on, let's keep going. Resource stolen by bandits! Oh, those bandits. Bastards. I've not gotten a single crop yet. Next harvest is 191 days. Holy shit. I get rye, dung, and fertilizer. Where's them resources stored? Oh, resources are stored in here. The storehouse. I'll show you. I had to upgrade the storehouse because it... It started filling up. Center of the village? Yeah, it's near the center. Roughly near the center. Almost. How the bandits get in there? Yeah, I thought start of the, I thought start of this, uh, OST is Warcraft, original soundtrack. I thought start of this original soundtrack is Warcraft. Oh, I forgot what Warcraft soundtrack sounds like. Yeah, well, I have plenty of space now. There's no reason to upgrade anything else. Okay, our firewood is now kind of going down, right? That's probably because of the... This thing here, right? What's reserve mean? I don't know what this reserve means. Let's just put one in there. I don't know what it means. Reserve. But yeah, the music is... I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm in a church. It's like church music. Another army, uh, ruler's army was sighted? Okay, sure. I have no wood left. Jesus Christ, let's crank up the wood. Where are all my planks? Oh my god, that's uh... Let's take this off, I don't need to worry about that. Oh wait, wait, we are exporting the... The bows, right? That's probably what it is. We're exporting the bows. Yeah, we're selling a surplus of bows. It's fine, I'll leave them in there. Okay, this guy is level 1 amenities, right? Oh hey, this guy is level- yeah, that's level 1. No, 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 I need level 2, right? I need level 2. Work area is empty. Cobblers. Why is it empty? Why is it empty? Excess food needs to be delivered. No, I mean- I don't know why it's telling me that. There's no excess food in here. Pantry is full. That pantry is full, not this one though. Yeah, see, I don't know what that is all about. 
Are you full? Oh yeah, you are full. Somebody needs to go in here and start gathering all that. Some old song. I heard this OST in Civ 6. Some uh, popular motive. Hmm. Well, hopefully this is not copyrighted music. I have not tested this yet. Uploading onto the YouTube. But other content creators have already uploaded to YouTube. So it should be fine. I don't think it uses any, any copyright music. Somebody needs to haul this out, right? Yeah, somebody needs to unload those veg... Excuse me, the veggies need to be... ...removed. Market supply. I mean, I could go to level 2, right? On this guy. Oh, I need four wood to go to level two. Yeah, I'm missing wood. Man, where are all my wood? Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, woodcutter's not even working on anything. Nothing stored inside. Oh, the, I, the new season, right? I need more workers or or families, right? I need more families. Not on anything. I just need more families. Oh, I have plenty of iron. Let me take the iron guy off. Plenty of iron. Yeah, we definitely need more wood. Forester's hunt. There's shit tons of wood there. Yeah, so the granary, there no one's in there, right? We have the farmers. We have, do we have haulers? I don't know if we have haulers. We have one hauler. Oh yeah, we have too many haulers. That's where they all went. I'll put one in there. That's it. We add another camp here. Yeah, we need more wood. Let's go. We have three extra homes, right? Policy is available. Generic storage full, which is this guy here. Yeah, I already know about that one. What about this one? It's probably because of this guy here. I don't think I can change this, right? Yeah, I can't change it. I can demolish it. I don't know if that improves the storage size. It does improve the storage size. It doubles the storage size. Interesting. Yeah, it doubles the storage size. That should take care of that problem. It requires two logs to expand it. Yeah, well, let's do that. And the blacksmith. Finally, we're moving along on the planks and timber. Yeah, see, so that one increased the storage capacity. So now I need to get tavern. And church level 
Probably increase the church level. Oh, what is that? I think I need like brick tiles or something like that. Clay tiles. What is this? What is that orange er curve? Roof tiles, right? Roof tiles. How do I get roof tiles? Roof tiles. Uh, clay to clay tiles. It's called clay tiles, but it's in the other thing it says roof tiles. I think we have a lot of clay, right? We have 92 clay. Our clay pit ran out. We're gonna have to import export clay. Kinda sucks our, our clay is not rich. I think I would have probably wanted rich clay pit. I think ideally you want you want this rich and then you want clay rich. Cause clay you can do underground. And then ore you can do underground. This is not as important rich. This maybe rich is okay. I mean that's the only reason to have that rich is because this is the only thing that takes advantage of, of what I have. That's rich. This one, I don't ever want to set. Kind of useless having those policies. Now what's this? Generic storage. Alright, we're finally moving along here. Light furnace, right? So that will help me upgrade the church. Alright. And then eventually I need to get this, right? I need to get ale somehow. Ale is what? Ale is what? I need malt, right? Malt. Barley's into malt. And to get malt, I need barley, right? What's this? Barley's only at 14%, flax is 18, holy shit. That's gonna take forever. New mercenary companies available, sure. That, why would you burn the field? Maybe it's because it's disease or something. Wait, ignore harvest season and harvest immediately. Minimum crop growth for any kind of harvest is 15%. Okay. I mean, it looks like the percentage just compounds over time, right? Or accumulates over time. That yield is zero, right? Jesus. I can't tell if that's just grayed out, meaning I don't have any. We're currently in the crop growth 22%. I don't know what this thingy then. Fertility, oh! That's fertility. 38% fertility. Flax is 14. How's the fertility so low? I don't know how it's so low. I mean, rye is really high, right? I don't think I can choose rye, though. That's the thing. Unless, yeah, I, I, I'm u using my up and down, down area. Or sorry, not up and down arrow, my uh, wheel, right? My wheel. What's 
What the hell did I got to say? What did I got to say? It's it's pretty miserable raining here, right? I like the rain though. It's against the storm, guys. Against the storm. Oh wait! Oh, he's constructing a new one. I need to get another stall. Doing that. That gets me what six? One, two, three. Houses over here. Well, it's fine. I guess we can do it. It's not perfect. I don't know why it snaps to those points. Oh, it says connect to road points. I have to connect to the road points. Which is kind of weird, right? Yeah, it snaps to road points. I turned it off. I don't know why it's still doing that. Does that remove my water? Tell me it doesn't remove my water. I think it does remove my water. I don't know, does it move, remove my water? I don't think it removes my water, does it? I don't know if it removes my water or not. Yeah, I think it removes my water, right? Or no. I can't click on it. No, it doesn't remove my water, right? My well is still there. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what it's doing. It's going around it. Okay, that gets me 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, right? Yeah, let's go with that. That's basically going around the water well. I'm okay with that zone. All right, what are we missing? Five months of fuel. Charcoal is low. Firewood, we, we have a worker on firewood, right? We still don't have anyone on firewood. Why, how is this not a thing? How is our firewood doing so well? Yeah, we have we have tons of firewood and I had to disable the whole entire time. Interesting, huh?
There we go. We can now upgrade the church. Let us pray. And then all you need is a tavern. All I need is a miracle. Do you have any points? Don't have any points. Sheep breeding. Great logistics. Forced. Advanced skins. Better deals. Advanced beekeeping. Which one is this? Unlocks rye crops for fields. Similar to wheat, rye can be processed into flour. Oh! I guess emmer then is for, for the, for the wheat. Probably emmer. So rye basically is different. Dramatically lowers the amount of damage caused by droughts. Bakery extension to the homes allows to use a fallow field as pasture, which rapidly restores lost fertility. Allows to use a fallow field as pasture, which rapidly restores lost fertility. Well, I don't have any points. Just can't do anything about it. Oh, we're maxed out on homes. What do we need more of? Eggs? Probably more eggs. Where am I gonna place the new homes? I, don't, I think we have enough. We don't need to worry about that. That's not the problem. Well, then again, I'm also running out of families to work on shit. Alright, so where am I going to add more workers? I guess this section right here, right? Oops, 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 oops. Where, where are the well water? If I place right here, it may not have access to water. It's the only thing. What the hell? I place my housing. It's gotta be near the church. It's gotta near be near the stalls. I mean, let's see here. Fertility, Emmer. Rye field. I can just do it right here. Let's just do that. Why would you just go around this curve? Alright, let's go with the... And this right here. Uh, King's Road cannot be removed. Oh, interesting. 
King's Road cannot be removed. Very interesting, huh? Let's go with this plot right here. Alright, that's fair. here, right? I don't know if you need more than one. It doesn't really have, like, a consumption thingy. I might be okay. So we have four plots for new four homes. I need planks, right? Shit, I need planks. I need eight planks to expand that. Oh wait, no, that's not the case. I need tavern first. Never mind. Taylor shop? Taylor Swift? You're still working on this. Holy shit, you're taking forever. My approval rating is good, right? Is it time to increase the tax? <laughs> Since the, there's an approval rating, right? Let's increase the tax. Yeah, they're just super happy. We don't want super happy, right? Thirty-six. Well, what's the Fletcher? Six, right? We want a surplus of 36. Yeah, let's do 40. Maybe we should start importing shit. Yeah, just to mitigate what we don't have. Side arms, right? We have spears. Which, this guy has spears, right? Which one is this? This is axe, right? I think this guy has an axe. What is that item that I need? The sidearms, right? I think that guy needs sidearms. I think my blacksmith can make that, though, still, right? Sure my blacksmith can make that. Side arms, yeah. What the hell's tools for? What the hell's tools used for? I don't have any tools. Hmm.
All right, so if we get the side arms, then we'll be able to get the footmen. I think our bottleneck right now, um, the shields, right? I think it's the shields. No, it's the spearmen's. Why is this not increasing? Recruits missing. Oh, I need more people. Yeah, I need more people. I only have 14 men. Yeah, I only have 14 men out of my population group. Yeah, I only have 14, well, technically 25 though, right? But it won't let me use more than four, a half of my, my pop count. Unless I expand the family, right? Yeah, all right. Hopefully the ex family expansion will get us more men. They need to start breeding more men. What this, what this is probably missing also is what? Besides a tavern. A gambler, a parlor, right? So we can make some money off of a gambling parlor. And brothels, right? What's this one? This guy's pantry's full. Uh oh. Where is this em Emmer Nurt? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, it's over there. Jesus Christ, this guy is just dominating the map. I have to walk that far. I don't even have enough troopers for this. I don't have enough troopers. He's... He's definitely gonna stomp me, for sure. I need, like, a bigger army. Let's resolve it. Hire a bunch of people. Yeah. Resolve this. Whose who's place is that? Oh, it's the middle ground. Alright. Hmm. Yes, We're probably gonna lose, but we need to try, anyways. I wish I could just dismiss this. What is that? I don't have that, huh? 
Oh, it has to be on my territory first. Before I can move it. That's these guys here, right? Five first, though. Oh, God, I can't do anything without five. I have to have five first. Well, that sucks. This guy is not gonna fight until this dude over here produces enough. Yeah, he needs to produce more weapons. An enemy has been spotted. Faster. Run, Force, run. Like, oh, I can't hire anymore. That's that's buggy. I had it. Oh, I should have kept it. Oh, that's bad. It's annoying, actually. I should have kept it instead of dism dismantling it. Because the most you can have is six. But since I hired more, it filled it up. Oh, that's terrible. Where are they coming from? Wait, what? Are those mine or theirs? Well, they're mine. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. What's the yellow bar? I forgot. The yellow bar is fatigue. Battle in progress? Where are my dudes? Oh, it's he's over there. Kill them. Kill them! Where's my other dude? Kill them! Kill them. Thirty six, holy shit. We're not gonna make it, guys. We're not gonna make it. Unless these guys get in. Oh my god, no. my other one March. March. 
Yo, ho, ho. Where's my other group? Man, these guys need to run. Run, run, Forrest, run. Y'all, y'all, let's go to battle. Nice, good job. Good job, good job. Battle in the forest. Oh, they're running. Oh, yeah, they're running. They're running. Let's go. We win, right? Oh, yeah, we're winning. Take that. This is our land. Our land. Yeah, baby. We didn't really need the other group down here. There's like an archer group here that's doing nothing. In the forest. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Oh, yeah, they're running. Victory! Multiple region management. You can quickly cycle between your commanded regions by pressing T. Uh, skip all future tutorials. I got it. I'll take it. Look at that, guys. We made it. Span. Go home. Can't expand units outside of home region. Oh. That I can, right? I have to go home. Yes! That was victorious. Those other archers that we hired were useless. They didn't do anything for us. We haven't claimed this though, have we? We have to, yeah, we don't have enough influence to claim this. We, we contested it, but we can't claim it. We just basically said, no, you're not allowed to take it to the uh, other guy. What is this thing? Friendly fire mode, friendly fire mode. No, we don't want to kill our own people. Skip ground, push forward, stand your ground, missile alert, soldiers, watch for enemy missiles, balance, default stance, yeah. No, it's fine. Alright, this time around, we did not lose. And the bodies are not on our territory. That was nice. We need a tavern. Man, that church is still being upgraded? Holy shit. These guys are terrible. Oh. 
Ugh. I already know about the soul. The coal really does take forever. Forester's hunt, right? Run, Forest, run! Add an herb guard. Ooh! We'll do that. I didn't even notice that. Granary, let's upgrade the size. Not that full. How's the... How's the, uh... Weapons. We need more sidearms, right? More sidearms. Recruits missing? I don't know what to do about this. It's like stuck. Recruit a um, ministerialist. Promote one of your citizens to your retinue locked in early access. Oh! Locked in early access. That sucks. Recruit men at arms. Pay from your treasury to hire a, a retainer who already owns basic materials. Oh! Works, defeated foes, armor upgrades. Upgrade armor import, pay the price to import the armor set for this retainer. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, you can choose the guy, huh? Oh. Well, look at that. I mean, this guy is kind of men in tights-ish, right? Hey, I can rotate it. <laughs> the other one looked kind of really funny. Sure, let's go with this. The blue team. That's my dude, right? I'm, I'm okay with that. No accessories. Can I pay? That's it, right? I don't choose anything else. Upgrade armor. Ooh! I can upgrade armor. This is some punky shit. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, what is this? Oh, I can go back between the two. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. I need a total uh, five, right, to be able to fight. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'll take you. Look at this, what is this guy, a shielder. This guy looks kind of funky. Sure. Oh, that guy. One more, right? I only I need one more. Okay. All 
Oh, okay. Down a little bit, right? This guy looks really, really funky. Sure, it's close. We're down to like 284. And my food is... my fuel. Looking bad. I need more fuel. I only have enough fuel for two months. Fuel is a big, big problem for some reason. Iron, right? Tannery does not need fuel. Play pit. I guess we can turn off the play pit. Yeah, play pit is killing me, right? Burgage. All right, what do we have? We have one extra living space. So what we need now is what the Hang on, this is just tavern, right? Any kind of tavern with a steady supply of ale. Well, first let's build a tavern and see how that works. Hands out. Saving. Oops, shit. Best place to put this tavern. Snapped. Snapped to ruins. Here. If I remove that, I can put it across the street, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Can't do the tavern. Alt key. Tavern. Yeah, I don't really like the rotating holding thingy. Find out if this tower is gonna work. How did I jiggle it over there earlier? Hmm. 
Yeah, it was like a jiggle over over here earlier. Guess not with Hook. It says you need road access. Does the white line need to touch? No. The dot is in front of it. There's a dot. There's a dot in the front. Maybe I need to put a road from here to there. Wait, the first time I placed it, it was white. First time I placed it was white. Could be, well, no, I have wood. See, right there it works. But it doesn't snap. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> If it works, I'm going to take it. It goes around a little bit. Curve around? I mean, my other option is make the market stall smaller, right? Cause it's really not, there's nobody there. There's literally nobody there. In my stall. forward. I guess it didn't like that, huh? It's this guy here. How's that? Maybe that will be better. Alright, how about you? I can move that for free. Yeah, let's move that across the street. That's fine. Ah, shit. Forgot about the hauling. But now that, that jiggles anywhere I want it to be. I'll take it. I could probably still got stall there too, right? Marketplace. Oh god. It's a really crappy marketplace. Yeah, it's crappy marketplace. I can stick two, four stalls there total. Yeah, maybe four stalls total. That is 16 stalls. Somehow it could play 16 stalls there. I mean, I'll take it. I don't know. It's the... It's the... thingy here, right? I 
don't know if I can stick stalls in there anymore. After that. Pretty sure I can't. There's not enough. It's not showing me anything. Yeah, it's not showing me anything. Well, I probably should have taken the... The 16th stall option. It's 24 stall option. <laughs> know about that. Well, I guess it makes it for me around the edges, right? I can't. Yeah, it won't. It won't let me. Yeah, it won't let me. Nope, it won't let me. Alright, so that does not work. I can do two stalls there, right? I mean, two stalls is better than nothing, but it's not... Well, it is kind of worse, right? I do... I need more than that. Can't do that. Well, this one could move, right? Yeah, I guess I can move that back to where it belongs. I'm just kind of... See if we can do the stalls again. No. No. No, 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 none of these. Okay, that might work, but... I guess the water well, I can't really click on it, but I don't think there's a reason to click on it anyway. click on it. Well, that's fine for now, right? I'm not gonna worry about it. So, tavern supply, but I don't know if it requires to have stuff in the tavern. I might be able to get away with upgrading it without filling in the thing. Yeah. Well, we'll find out once this tavern gets built, right? We actually have more people now in our village. We got wood. We have we we need more meat. Firewood is fine, right? The tavern's done. Well, the tavern's done, but that's not lighting up. So that means I think I still need ale. Let me close this. Yeah, I think I still need the ale. So that's malt, right? Oh my god, we got none of that. Next harvest is 53. We're finally getting wheat in the next few days. 
Barley is not happening, guys. Yeah, barley is not happening. Wheat is the only thing we got. Fertility there is really bad. Force early harvest. What is this? Sowing progress? Oh, it's fallow. This is the fallow year. It's fine. I can't get any barley. I, I can't get the wheat for a very, very long time. So that means I can't serve the beer anytime soon. Any kind of tavern building in the region with a steady supply of ale. Where are you? Yeah, to get to the next level, I need to get level three, right? That's beer. Bandit camp sighted. Wait, what? What? Who? Who's coming out of my territory? Oh no, it's not my territory. It's just it's sighted. I don't know. He's probably gonna try to lay claim again. Oh wait, I actually own this. Oh look at that, I do own this. I didn't have to have the influence. Oh hey, I own this. <laughs> what am I gonna do about that? I do have a new territory. Okay. Settlers camp. Place it on an empty claimed territory in order to settle it. Grants base starting supplies of five starting families. Alright, where do we want to place this guy? Like right here in the middle, right? Can I remove this? King's Road cannot remove. King's Road cannot remove. Shit, alright. Do I want to be on the left side of the road, or the right side of the road? This is the rich deposit of wild animals, right? Stones is rich on that side. Iron deposit, clay deposit, food, berries right there. Where do I want to be, guys? Where is the place to be? But the problem is, I got the King's Road right in the middle. Let's take a look at the water source. Oh god, I gotta wait until the... Well, I kind of sort of see it. Oh, okay. So ideally, I want to farm on this side, right? And just maybe start up my main town here. Alright, this is farming area. Alright, so housing along here is fine, right? Industrial. I mean, I can always... Yeah, I'll be on the, the left side of the road, right? Left side of the road's better. I mean, this stuff is- this is gonna deplete. That I can just walk across the street to get. This is gonna deplete. Because I can't upgrade it unless it's rich. So, I think the best thing to do is be on this side of the road. Ooh, what is this? Uh, settlement options. Oh, I see. 
Farming village. How do I get the farming village? I don't have these choices. Ah, oh, interesting, right? It's kind of cool. Modest, right? Give him some money in that town. I can't do any of this. All right, Emerith. Where? Do, what? What? What do I want to call this? Ron Haven. All right. There we go. It's my new my new region. Oh, it immediately drops it, huh? Wow. So it's basically I start another region. That's what's going on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Logging camp. So industrial on the right. Set up some supplies, storehouses. Got some granaries going here. Well, the berries are across that one. Works. I mean, the berries are over here, anyways. Can't believe I decided to do it on in winter. I guess it's fine right over here, right? This guy has to go over... Hang on, hang on. There, right. Where did I place the road? The road is over there. Gathering spots. Tree uprooted. He just goes into the forest and gathers the food. Those are all the berries. I don't want to remove my berries. Sure. Let's just dump it right there. T. T. The homeless people, right? Granaries right there. This side has five starting families. This is the storehouse over here. One for that one. One for that one. 
right, let's get some more of this. This is basically we're starting over, except for we're on a different region. So at least we won and got an actual territory. We need to win back this here or this here, right? I can't claim that though, right? Costs a thousand points. We're almost there though. All right, so the Empire is here. The Haven is here. We got this little zone in the middle that we want to probably take. It's got rich iron, right? There's a bandit camp here. Bandit camp here, which we probably want to eventually take out, right? I mean, having increase in, in this, not terribly bad. Control that region. Where are all my food? Do I have an ox? I don't know, do I have an ox? I do have an ox. Nothing stored inside. I mean, my shit's on the ground here somewhere, right? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. That's my supplies, right? It's my supplies. my other supplies. Where's my first supplies? I think it's all the supplies. I think all the supplies are dumped on the same lo location. We have like what? Two, three people? Families request more market areas? And rate uh, run Haven? Oh, yeah. Where do I want to dump the stall? Wow, that's a lot of space. 19 stalls, huh? 13 stalls? That's a lot of space. Hang on, what's my region again? Hmm. Okay, that one was, is fine, right? Oh shit. That's my storehouse. Alright, let's see here. Wait, there's... I think there's like a... thingy that direction. Too, too long? Okay. Log camp. I need a stall though, because they need to distribute their food. No one in there.
Doesn't snap to anything. No. Okay. Thirty-three. Holy shit! Thirty-three stalls. That's a lot of stall space. Thirteen. That's a lot too. Sure, let's leave it. It's fine. Um. Firewood, right? What firewood? And what else? And what's this one? The granary? Need somebody working on the granary. And what do you need? Pantry's full? This guy. How's your pantry full? Jesus. You need to deliver more over here. What else? We have a lot of people on this side of the empire. Fire was good, right? So we need more meat. More eggs. Meat and eggs. I give you eggs. Doop, 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 doop. Also, hide. Oh, we definitely need more leather. Oh my god. We don't have any leather. Let's get the stink up. Get to work. Get to work. How's my farming? Have we gotten anything yet? We have not gotten a single thing. The farmers need to start jacking up their their production. What is this nun num total field workers high threshold priority? Sure. I mean, really, we should be doing the flax field first, right? What's early harvest? Minimum crop growth for any kind of harvest is 15%. This is fertility. This is not the same as growth. That's got growth. This one has not. That's 59. Okay, so we actually can get wheat right away. Let's switch over to the other side. How's my haven? Hey, doop, 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 doop. It's flute music. You got a lot of flute action here. Yeah, we want housing along here, right? Uh, Banner Raiders was seen near something. 
It's not our... They're probably crossing our territory. Not worry about that. Holy shit. A lot of homes. I don't have enough wood. Oh god, yeah, I, I need more wood. Can't do anything out right now until I get the wood. Okay. Where's that noise? Noise something. It says somebody was spotted in noise. There's noise. Oh, noose, noose love. That one right there, I think. Noose, noose off, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's probably some bandit. I actually see it. It's actually the other guy. Oh, you know what it is? It's the yellow guy trying to. The, the yellow guy is probably gonna try to claim the top. Unless he's trying to attack me, that's another problem. Or he can go out after the bandit, right? Could be a possibility, too. Alright, well, I need wood first. Before I, uh... Construct additional homes. I need at least ten. I need ten... Lumber, or timber... To be able to make homes for these homeless people. 12, ideally, because then I'll have an extra spot. Alright, why are you guys having coffee breaks? This is like, against the storm here. Is that her husband? She's mingling with this dude? What in the hell is going on with this conversation? This dude in the back is like flexing his muscles. Stretching out. It's kind of cool, right? The graphics is really cool. These guys are just mingling with each other. Let's go back to our other town. What do we got here? I should probably force harvest, right? My current yield is 36. Well, what am I going to do with the wheat, though? Make flour and bread, but that's not what I need to get to level 3. Alright, somebody needs to start hauling that. To the granary. How's my militia? Yeah, I'm actually reaching 36. Nice. I actually have five guys here. Alright, so I have room here in my main base for one more family to show up. Would be nice to actually go in and spy on the enemy. Figure out what they're up to. Yeah. Like in other games, you can actually see, you know, the AI's setup and everything. Here, you can't see anything. It's kind of odd, huh? So what's missing from this game, by the way, is, um, lakes. 
rivers and lakes. Because in Farthest Frontier, you actually have rivers and lakes and, and water and fishing. There's no fishing in this game. It's kind of lacking the fishing aspect. Hopefully that gets added at some point. Probably one of those things that's like he's adding last or DLC it or something like that. Alright, how's the food? Are you not making me... Yeah, what's up with this? Nothing stored inside. What's up with this? Woodcutters? Homeless people, granary. What was this? Oh, I built a granary in the middle of the forest? Oh. Shit. Ah, oh, shit. I did it wrong. Forager, not granary. Well, that was a mistake. Well, no wonder I wasn't getting any food. That was a huge mistake on my part. Yeah, big, 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 big mistake. be a problem. Go! Very high. There's no taxation on this land, right? That ox is moving really slow. That family is construction family. There we go. There we go? Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's kind of cool seeing this, looking over this clearing line, right? Vast tracts of land. Enemy unit has been spotted. Holy shit. Where are you guys going? Oh, they're in my territory. Oh shit, they're in my territory. They're crossing my territory. No, they're not attacking me though. That's the, um... Probably hired mercenaries. Unless they're attacking me. Yeah, they're not attacking me. They're just moving around. Oh shit, they are attacking me. Oh my god, they're attacking- Oh my god, they're attacking me. Shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, they're raiding me. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Outlaws! Oh, outlaws. Oh, I'm F. It's funny how some vocal lines stick in my mind from games years ago, like. Oh yeah, that's 
Give me some shoes. Can any anyone name the game? Is that uh? I'm trying to think of that game. Renaissance? The old Renaissance or something, right? Running out of food. Oh shit, we're screwed, guys. Look at that. Oh my god. The families I have, they're all running. Ah! Oh god. I think I, I think I have to abandon this. Oh, I know it's from Command and Conquer Generals. Oh, I see. Oh no. Ah! Rubbles. That one I can rebuild, right? The log camp I can rebuild. Door house I can rebuild. Marketplace? No. That one I can rebuild. Yeah, the houses can't be rebuilt for some reason. What is this one? Oh, we're screwed, guys. We have no food. We're screwed. Oh, they must have wrecked my... Yeah, they did wreck my forager's hunt. Yeah, somebody must have died. It's unfortunate. Well, kind of sucks. We should have hired somebody to go defend that town. I mean, that is a pretty large section of the territory, too. Yeah, that's a large section. It feels like risk, right? I'm playing like risk here. Waiting for these guys to build up again. I think it's because we have no logs. I think rebuilding that may be a problem. Oh, we have some timber. All right, that should be enough to get a log loggers camp, right? Either that, or it's a bad idea to build it right right next to the King's Roads. That's where everyone walks through. That's my guess. Mm, what's going on? Where are my workers? Jesus Christ. They were probably hanging out in their homeless tent. I mean, their first priority should be getting everything set up. What is this? Bodies need burying? Oh, dear lord. There's dead bodies on the ground. Oh my god, there's dead bodies. Family is hungry. Why is it spinning like that? No food. Oh, there we go. A couple of food. We also need fuel.
Yeah, I know why it's spinning. It's spinning because people are needed for those particular buildings. That's what it is. Wait. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, they're raiding me too. What in the hell? I didn't even see that. Let's go. Why are the archers doing melee? Oh shit, my market stall. Oh shit, my church went down. Take them out. Come on! The yellow guys, right? Those are the ones we want to kill. Yeah! We killed them all, right? Yeah, we did kill them all. Alright, we gotta rebuild our church. Well, the market stall, they have- they rebuild that. I don't rebuild that. I think the only thing that went down was the church. Yeah, it was a church and some market stalls. Not terribly bad. Construction finish? Food stalls? Yeah. Ding 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 ding. Five? Seven. Somehow I have set supplies for seven here. I got enough for five. Let's go ahead and do a little housing. Alright, so that should be fine, right? Oh, I need workers. Two, right? Wait, where's the other one? Is it firewood? No. Not that guy. Probably this guy. Berries. Planks. Yeah, let's go with that. It's fine. Let's speed this up. We actually have what? Seven months worth on this on this town. And then this town over here, I have five months worth of food, which is kinda bad. Dumb raiders. Alright, so I should get about 53, right? And I can't do anything about the barley right now. Yeah, the barley is needed for the beer. Church sure being rebuilt, though, at least. I can't upgrade these guys yet, right? 
Oh, that one I could probably upgrade. This guy I can't upgrade, right? It needs tavern. Alright, that's fine. Oh my god, I got bodies on the ground. They're not complaining about the bodies. <laughs> Laws is not their family member, right? They don't care. They're like, yeah, it's just a bunch of outlaws, dead body. We'll leave it on the ground. This guy, oh yeah, we got some outlaws on the ground here. In this little vegetable garden. Hello, market stalls. I'm gonna use the bathroom here, so BRB real quick, guys. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Currants, cabbages, turns, ties, all the land. Step right up and sample. Don't be shy, good come sirs one, and ladies. Come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Poor quality, you say. Berries so plump and juicy, you'll want to eat them by the bushel. Perhaps it was simply a bad thing. These things do happen. Come 
Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Step right up and set. Back. Whoa, what is that? There's a fence up. I guess the church must have got repaired. And the dead bodies need burying, right? Jesus. Who can we divert from that? Generic storage full? In there. That should solve that problem, right? What other storage is full? Granary? No. Like that there. That should take care of some pantry issues. That guy's pantry, right? Somebody's pantry is always full. I don't know what to do about that. Despite having my pantry workers in here. Uh oh. I say. That's too many. Wood, right? I need wood again. Clay, I don't need clay. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Oh my god. It's raining! It should go out ASAP. Water. Where's water? The nearest well. Oh, I forgot to put down a well, huh? There's a well over here. Water. Water! Water! That's just that one right there. It's a tannery. Easily, right? Easily. No problem. Alright, we took care of that one fairly quickly. Alright, we took care of the dead bodies fairly quickly, too. Yeah, what caused the fire? It's just probably right next to the flammable area, which is the clay furnace, but no one was working in there. Yeah, no one was working in there, so... No one was working the tannery, either. It could be the logging camp, but I don't know. I mean, you know, they, there's probably, like, a percent chance of something catching fire. That's all it is. Oh, 
where they were just kind of like sitting around their little campfire and then like poof somebody threw a match somewhere well i, I guess they don't have matches back in then huh uh oh somebody must have died Did we get wheat? This is June, right? June. This is fallow. Construction finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have lots of stones, right? Yeah, we just need upgrades. What kind of weapons do we have? We need more tools. Did I, did we run out of iron? Yeah, we did run out of iron. The furnace is not running though, I don't think. I don't think the furnace is running. Oh, the furnace is running, Jesus. Any more people? Collecting iron. Yeah, okay. Do we have any bars left? No more slabs. No more slabs. Oh. I think the ox died earlier. Probably what happened. My hitch post must have got destroyed. Yeah, I lost the ox. That's probably why. I had to buy one right here. What is this? Rubbles? What is this? Marketplace? Barbecue ox? <laughs> Barbecue ox. Yeah, you know, the ox died, so... They couldn't haul the wood around to build the homes. Shit, I shouldn't have AFK'd. I should have checked that out first. Yeah, this is not... Helping me. Because they can't hurl, or... They can't... Um, haul the, will, the wood, right? That's the problem. And I have to wait for the trader to bring it. Yeah, see? Conrad died. Conrad the Ox died. That was the cause of this town having issues. Oh, what's hot? Oh, not enough stable space. What? How? What? How's there not enough stable space? I think this is a bug, guys. He's dead. <laughs> How do I get rid of this? Oh my god. I, I bought an ox, but I don't have a stable space. Shit. Come on. And the problem is, I, I don't think I can build another hitch post, either. Because it needs logs for the hitch post to exist. Oh my god. Where's the hitch? Where's the... 
Bitch post right here, right? How do I get rid of this dude? How do I get rid of that dude? Two wood. Livestock. Advance. Can I make another hitch post for free? I don't know. It's kind of bad when your octa dies, right? How do I get another octa? Kitchen post. I need one log. Oh, I do have logs. I don't know, stable space. Shit. I guess I'll just build it. Whatever, let's build that. I don't know if I can... I can move the uh, log to that. The lumber. We'll find out! I mean, they'll probably dig it up. The roads or the, um... The groundwork, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to... To add that in there. I don't know how to eject this guy. Disconnected from the network. Lumbers. Yeah, see, they're waiting for the. Oh my god, they're waiting for the. Uh, the timber, but the timber can't be delivered without an ox. Oh my god, I think there's a. There's a problem here, guys. Yeah, the ox death loop. Yes, correct. I think we have a problem here. This is the other bug here. So the way the game works is that you need an ox. That's why that's why they gave us a free ox at the beginning. It, um, the ox is used to move lumber around or timber. So since we don't have an ox, we can't move it. And we can't set up a hitch post because it requires the wood. So, slight problem here. Yeah, there's... Oh my god. All right, all right, so how about I sign it to this? No free ox? What the hell? Oh, no, no, they are building the hitch post. I see it. They are actually building the hitch post. No, they are building it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we not we aren't a hundred percent screwed. We aren't a hundred percent screwed. All right, we are not a hundred percent screwed. So that did work out. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so the hitch post does work. They do manually deliver the one lumber. 
but I think these other buildings they won't build without the the ox. And the ox is on his way. Jesus. All right, so not entirely bad. All right, here's that ox. Finally doing something. Finally doing something useful. We have like six months of food here, right? Okay. I'm thinking you can just buy more, right? No, no, you can only buy it once. That's fine. It's fine. We, we're okay. We're back to normal. This bugged because of this. We've already established that. And we have two people, right? Okay, that's iron. And we're still missing flax. What season is this? It's June, right? And barley is still not kicking in because this is not the year to do the barleys. Nineteen percent. I think that improved, right? Yeah, I think that improved. Family members joined. Ron Haven, nice. Ron Haven now has people. All right, so Ron Haven, you want to be chicken, and then you want to be. Well, you have no more money. Oh, I can't get money. The oh damn. I should, probably should have done hide. Well, that's okay, because I think there's deer on this map, right? There's wild animals on this map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about that, then. Here to here, right? Sure. Water well. Fire stall abandon. Food stall abandon. We have one homeless person. And then the homeless camp will go away, right? Yeah, the homeless camp should go away after that. I need a way to generate more money on at this location. It's too bad I can't give them money. My lord. Me lord. It's me lord. Alright, so no more homeless people. That homeless camp went away. What else can I do here? Huh. Me lord! Me lordy lordy lord. We gotta wait until September, right? We gotta wait till September. Wake me up when September ends. Oops, shifts. <laughs> Trying to get to the farmhouse here to see what's going on with it. Almost 90%. You know what? I'm going to take the early harvest. I think it harvests in September or August for just two more pieces, right? 
What is that? Development. Days left till harvest? Crop growth? You know, let's force harvest early. Yeah, let's go add that in there. Alright. We need to start generating something here. Kitchen posts. No lag, by the way. Uh, that was because every time it auto saves, it always does the. Um, it's kind of like we're associated to the lag of the, the auto save. So whenever you see that, it's basically an auto save in the background. Every ten minutes. So whenever it does that, it glitches for a few seconds. Still coping, I see. Wow, you really have some hate for this game, dude. What what's your deal, man? It's fine, actually. Well, the performance could just be my graphics card and my settings, so I can't really speak to that. And the fact that I'm streaming. But when I played it off stream, not recording with my OBS on, it's perfectly fine. Well, for me, I don't feel the lag that much. Maybe, maybe you see that on the stream when uh, I'm streaming it. Is the stream lagging? Let me, let me switch windows to take a look because I actually don't watch my own stream here. I mean, is it is it lagging? Yeah, it's also, I don't like the, the, um, hold the middle mouse button to move around like this. I'm having to, like, hold the middle mouse button to, to actually pan my screen. Occasionally when you fast scroll, there's a screen tear stutter kind of lag. Yeah, I see that. That, I, I, I'm totally aware of that. Because I'm holding down the middle mouse button to, to move around. And I think the idea is that they don't want you, or the game is not designed to... For me, like, I'm, I'm constantly moving this around with my middle mouse button. But as you said, you're also streaming, which is very demanding on the GPU, etc. Yeah. Well, it's also, yeah, that too. Absolutely. Because I have to encode the quality to fit into the resolution and the bit rates to upstream to you guys. So I can either lower down my quality for my encoder and my OBS, but then you're not going to see the same quality I get. Right? And I also have to... I have to force it on the 60. I mean, I can set it higher. Like I said, all these higher, but... I think I'm going to get a performance hit. I, it will probably lag if I actually increase this. 
And I do, I'm actually watching my stream now on the other window. It actually is lagging whenever I'm, I'm zooming around on the stream. Or on the stream that you guys see. It's not like that on my side. When I'm panning around like this, and I, I'm, I'm watching my, my own stream on the other side, it is lagging on the, on the, uh, the stream side. So I don't know what to do about that other than buy a better graphics card or what I need to do is do what other major streamers do when they play like FPS games. So I don't play FPS games. All my stuff is on the same machine when I stream to you guys. And all the games I've played in the past is never really this demanding on my CPU and my uh, GPU. So what normally people do is when they're playing on high quality games like this, they have a separate rig, a separate machine that uses a video capture card, right? So they feed in basically the same output that they feed into a monitor, but instead they feed it into the second computer and that second computer takes that feed and then it, it does the encoding on the second computer and then streams it upload to you guys to watch. So a lot of the big, you know, shooter, FPS, Valent or, uh, sorry, Fortnite or whoever the hell, uh, you know, Overwatch gamers, they play those games, they feed that. See, I, I, I've watched a lot of them. They actually run a second rig and I see that in their little camera stream. They got their second computer that's streaming in the background and then their primary computer is the one that they actually play on. I don't have that type of setup. Everything I, I do is that's why like whenever I'm I'm clicking on another window, you'll you'll see the game pause. Or you'll hear the audio stop. Right? When I go like this. That's because I click off the, the window focus and I actually put in an input to the dev saying, hey, can you know, can you can you leave the audio running? Because it is kind of noticeable. Every time I like go AFK or I I hit the mute button or I interact with chat or type something in the chat or, or whatever, right? The the screen um uh, sorry, this audio pauses or mutes. So that's kind of annoying. I mean that it does that I mean you know other games do it too, like Goblin Stone. That's why you know sometimes you'll hear the audios cut off in God uh Goblin Stone. Um but Goblin Stone does not have this problem with with the graphics glitches or lag. So if I don't do anything, I mean, it's perfectly fine running. I can pan around like this. This is perfectly fine. But as soon as I, I hit the middle mouse button to like, you know, rotate and tilt my camera angle, orbit view or, or, or whatever, it actually starts lagging or tearing. So I just either need to stop doing that and play the game like a normal city builder and just click, click, click. Uh, but you don't really get the the experience of how beautiful the game is when you're just looking at straight top down. Like this looks like shit when you're looking down like this, right? If I'm I'm just playing straight up city builder, like any other city builder games, I normally just look at it top down view and play stuff down and click, click, click. But it doesn't really make it pretty, right? It's not, you're not really enjoying the quality of the game when you're not like super zoomed in and scrolling around and taking a look at your villagers doing stuff. I think that's the fun thing about the game here is, is I actually see every single villager moving around transporting stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's a huge difference between this and Farthest Frontier. Farthest Frontier only lags when when I reach like 600 or 800 pop count. In this game, I don't deal with that, right? The pop count is fairly low. I can't imagine anyone reaching like 500 pop count. This game will probably crawl. I, I'm pretty certain of that. Because then it has to like render and comp, uh, compute every single worker moving around the screen, right? I think that's really where the big issue is. But yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I haven't had any issues when I'm playing offline, uh, off recording.
You should have seen it a year and a half ago. It was really, really bad. All right, what am I waiting for? Requirements not met. What is, what's your, what's your requirements? Fuel stall and food stall. Is there no free stalls? Oh, there's no free stalls. There's 10 free stalls over here. Like, how do I not have enough food? Oh my goodness, I don't have food, huh? Oh shit, I don't have enough food. Oh shit, I don't have enough food. I also have, like, I think auto camera jump to certain locations every time something happens. Is there, I think there's like a camera jump. Reaction when enemy was spotted. Slow down. Pause. Do nothing. Okay, so this is also is, is something here that causes the, the issues, right? I can pause the game when an enemy is spotted, so that way you guys won't notice the, the jerks. Let's see if that helps you. It does, it does jerk around every time something happens with the enemy being plotted. I hate camera shaking. Let's take that off. Move to cursor when zooming. What else can I do here? Not a whole lot of choices. Accessibility, uh, interface scales. Uh, let's let's bump this up. Yeah, the 15 minutes. I don't need it every 10 minutes. I rarely have to reload from a, a save. Like I don't think I've ever had to reload from a save at any point. Uh, tutorial pop-ups off, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Now, let's figure out this problem here. You need what? You need food stalls, right? And you need heal. Why, why are you people not working on shit? There's like, what, 10 free slots over here? Yeah, there's like 10 free slots. Granary, let me take this off. Let me take, let me get food over here. Oh, wait. No, there's lots of deposits there. You need more workers. No, you don't. All right, so we got 36 wheat. What am I going to do with the... With the wheat now. Yeah, it always jumps for some reason whenever I do this. Here, what am I going to do? Windmill. Converts to... Converts grain, right? How will I convert my my wheat to grain? How will I convert my wheat to grain? Workers use flour to make bread. Converts grain to flowers. How do I convert to grain? Is there a different option to convert to grain? Barley to malt. Berries to dyes. Unless the windmill is automatic.
<laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think it is. I'm, I'm guessing it's just this. Need road access. Snapster grid, right? Oh, I need the big wide. It's got to have a large circle. It's gotta be as the my location has to be as wide as the circle. Yeah, it has to be within the circle. I guess that's fine, right? Or you do it on the other side. It won't let me do the other side. I can do that one right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. That's fine. Man, I really need to consider getting another computer just so I can play and then maybe convert this one to stream. That's a possibility. Man, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. Arm and a leg. Food stall. Firewood or charcoal availability. I have a lot of charcoal. It's just they are not able to... ...to sell it. Is there a way to add new stalls? Trade, right? Trade post, logistic. Pack station. Wood carts? No. Construction costs, no. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to add more stalls. They do it automatically though, that's the thing. Oh wait, oh, you know what, it's probably because I don't have any leather. Could be leather. See if we can add another stall over here. I don't think that makes a difference though, but we'll see. Sure. Let's find out if that helps. Auto pinning these things. Oh, I guess whenever I move it, it auto pins, right? Yeah, okay, so whenever I move it, that's why it's auto pinning. Okay, that's fine. Plenty of stones, planks, tools. How's my army items? Eighteen, nice. One, two. What does this guy need? Halbert. That one. Uh, do I have enough iron? Okay. Alright, so we'll see how this pans out. So the idea here, here's another slight bug or wonkiness. You want to fill out this as much as possible. Because once you hire mercenaries, you can't add more groups. That's the other thing that I've noticed. 
Right, so we're maxed out. There's six. And then mercenaries will be on top of that. But if you hire mercenaries, right? For, you know, I don't need them right now. But if you hire mercenaries, you're blocked out, right? So let's say I hire a group. So, so if I hired like a, a group of four and I only had these two or these two here, right? The group of four here will fill up with the mercenaries. I can't add more. And I think a couple of other creators complained about that or reported that as a feedback bug. And I actually read it and I didn't realize what they were talking about. Now it's like, okay, I get it. Because that during that last couple of battles that I had earlier, I hired like a bunch of mercenaries and I was stuck with only two slots. And I couldn't add more additional unit slots. So that really does need some fixing. Yeah, City Skylines 2 on launch. Couldn't build a city beyond 100k pop unless you were running an, an AI supercomputer. Oh. Well, I'm glad I... Oh, something happened here. Paused. Armies... You know what? Let's turn this auto-pause off. How about we don't auto-pause and we just do nothing? Instead of slow down, right? Do nothing. That might be better. Because that's probably where you see the jerkiness when I... I'm on this speed and then it just slows down, right? Oh, there's no... there's excess weapon storage? There's a warehouse over here. Oh no, that notification's gone now, right? What the hell? It's really weird. What 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 is this message? It does. That guy is thumbs down, and that guy is thumbs down. What's your thumbs down? You need more food. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Furnace? I don't need a clay furnace furnace. Rubbles? What was originally there? Forester's hut. Oh, that caught on fire. I must have missed it. All six. All right, let's go back to the other town. See how this is coming along. We do have a free slot here. They've got three months left. That's fuel, right? It's woodcutter's hut. Wow, this guy's got a lot of timber. Uh, somebody on the food? Somebody must be on the food. Mm. Okay, space is paused. Okay, that's fine. in there. And who else? This is something else over here, right? That's the deer. Okay, that's hide. It's 
fine. I need more food variety. What can I export right now? A bit of a, uh, a plank thingy. Woodcutter's Lodge, right? Jeez. Yeah, see that brief pause right there is because it was saving it. Alright, I'm gonna go heat up my food here, so BRB real quick. Alright, my food's heating up, but eating something else right now. Did they finish? Holy shit, they still haven't finished, huh? Damn, they take forever. I need to raise my approval rating. Oh my god. My fuel is low, too. Not, okay, so food is not my problem.
Well, I need to empty that out into the... Well, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's just the firewood. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Probably the fuel thing. Yeah, I don't have enough of this. What am I going to do about that? down. Tannery. Oh yeah, I kind of need that for the leather. Oh yeah, we can take this off. We don't need to bury any more bodies. I guess convert to flour. My approval ratings dropped. Oh, it's going up again. I think most of it is because of the tax, right? Because I'm taxing them too much. Let me lower the taxes a little bit. Well, you know what? Let me lower the food too. We don't want to give food to the church anymore. That should help me with the food. Holy shit, what's going on with this? Water. Uh, I move this? I can't move it, right? Let me demolish this. road here. Hmm. All right. And then we're going to put the water source back over here somewhere. right here. Fine. And we're gonna add another stall area over here so what else that helps a little bit. I don't know. Oh is that stupid church path? Oh my god. Fine. Fine.
Is that gonna help me with the stall increase? Work area is empty. Forager's hut. Well, the food went up, so I don't think it's a stall issue anymore, because that stall's not even done yet. So, I think the stall... Lost me through. Which person? That guy. What's your deal? You need food. Yeah, we definitely need food. Holy shit. You are chickens. You will be chickens. Chickens. More chickens. And more chickens. How's that? They just need food. Over here on this house. Let's go back to the other group. Okay, these guys are happy. No, not happy yet. They need... They need more food variety. Meat and berries is not enough. And chickens is not kicking in, huh? Yeah, the chickens are not kicking in. Or that, yeah, well, we've got eight, eight eggs, right? So what's the problem now? I think it just needs more people to show up. I need to raise the thing. I wonder if it's because I'm taxing that region. No, see, they would they would actually complain about taxes. It's not taxes. So I don't know how I'm gonna grow that sign. I've never had to deal with a population under five. Yeah, I've never had to deal with population under five. I mean, I could try to transport food over there. Or set up a post and sell whatever shit, right? Hang on, I don't think we've done the sawmill yet here. Let's just do that. Woodcutter's Lodge is food, right? Oh, why do I have two Woodcutter's Lodge? What the hell? Cancel. I wasn't even paying attention to this. That was a mistake. I mean, this side is happy, peachy, right? This other side, not so much. That I already know what the problem is. This one, I don't, I don't know what to do about this guy. He just needs a food stall. Yeah, I need food stall. Over here. Hoover rating is going down. We have a lot of veggies. <laughs> Bam. There's, there's food stall over here, too. No one's on there. I think I just need to increase the workers that have... that makes food, right? Do I have meat? Oh, I don't have any meat. 
Where's my deer guy? Oh, that's why. No wonder. I lost my hunter. Hunter's camp. Because it must have got caught on fire. There we go. We'll do that. Alright, let me get my food here. BRB. Alright, let's see here. Well's done, right? This guy's getting me some food. Yeah, this guy's getting me some food. My approval rating is going up again. That's good, right? Uh, I've got, what, 32 homes? And then I've got... 31 people. Huh. How's this side? The side's not going up. Woodcutters. Mercenary companies, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to increase my approval rating on this side. Hey, Drac Goga uh, 12. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Thank you for follow. Okay. So I capped out on my living space. I have now more people here. Now I have flour, right? Hello, mate. Nice streaming. You stream pretty cool. That's why I follow you. I would like to be a fan of yours. If uh, you don't mind, kindly add me up on Discord using it. Join my uh, Discord. I have a Discord. Type in exclamation mark to Discord, and then you can uh, follow my channel there. Alright, so here... What am I going to do with the... 
God, I need beer. Or sorry. I need flour. I know that's a food cart. Bread, right? Flour into bread. I need to get an oven in, in here somewhere. What is that? What is this one? I think that was a stone, right? Your mom's lord. Funny. It won't rotate this in here. I can't fit it in there. Yeah, this, I can't fit that in there. It's too small. Yeah, because the farm is taking up that spot. I need to find another spot to place this. Holy shit. I guess next to the windmill, right? Because the windmill's too big. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just go do this. That's fine. Oh no, no. Let's cancel, cancel, cancel. Let's just put a road across this. Go with that. Yeah, is this fancier version of Ostriv? I, don't, I haven't actually played that game. It's kind of a more fancier version of Farthest Frontier and Thrive. Heavy Lies of the Crown. I did a coverage of that game on my YouTube. It's just more, it's just prettier. I mean, Heavy Lives of the Crown, if you zoom out, it looks almost like this, with like a world map view, grand strategy conquest, right? And you gotta conquer all the, the territories. Or like a variation, it's kind of like Norlands, right? It's kind of funny how the Hooded Horse um, has two games that kind of are similar. Norlands is more 2D, Rimworld style. But the premise of the concept is the same. You're the lord of some zone, and you gotta build up. It's a little different, though. Norlands is more story-based. Rimworld style. I mean, they, they, they have different vibes, but some of the gameplay mechanics are similar. I like Norlands, Barry Rimworld, Feudal Lordship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the other game that I mentioned at the beginning of the stream was the, um, called Lords and Villains. But it's not, spe <laughs> excuse me. It's not spelled the same as villains as the bad guys. Here, let me look up the name spelling here. Give me a second. Lords and vill Villains. Some people pronounce it Bill Lanes. Yeah, see, it's, um, Bill, uh, Bill Lins. So if you, if you look it up, the word Bill Lins, that, that actually is pronounced Bill Lins like, uh, bad guys as well. It's confusing. I've heard other content creators go Bill Lanes. It's not Bill Lanes, it's Bill Lins. But similar idea on that one. It's also very RimWorld-like. You actually can design your own plot of land or housing for the, the villagers. So each villager, you assign like a... Um, or sorry, each each um, each zone, like a you know lumber zone or a uh, farming zone or whatever. You assign... You, you give your, your families in your kingdom... 
you basically say, hey, you can have that plot of the land, or you rent it from me, but you still work for me. You can do whatever you want. So here is the same concept, right? You assign, like, a family to a farmhouse. So these are the number of families I have, and each family has their own family members, and all those family members work uh, in that industry or in that um, building task. And so the um, the food stalls are handled by the family that's assigned to that particular building's um, industry. Now, some of them actually have a um, an extension in their backyard, right? So whenever I give, so some of these family members that lives in this house might be assigned to wood, for example. They have a chicken coop in the backyard, so they actually could set up a uh, a food stall for the their eggs. So however many members of the family here, one person might go and set up. You know, selling eggs while the other person goes work at the uh, the, the lumber mill, or sorry, the the lumber camp. And in this case, uh, this family is assigned to the to, to the miller. And I think they're just sitting around waiting for at the stalls or something like that. I think I upgraded all these people, right? Yeah, I gave everyone extra homes. This one, I, I have not met the requirement yet, right? It needs more food stalls. So two types of food. There's not enough food types to go around. That's probably what the problem is. I only have any. I don't have any more points, right? I need points to add apples to the backyard. The other game that this game um, that this game shares similarity is uh, Fabledom. So if you watch my one time the the one time that I streamed Fabledom, right? It's also a bot on my YouTube where you uh, set up housing zones, and then each housing plot has like an extension as well, up to three or four extension slots. That's the only other game that I I've seen that uses like the mechanic where the house has extension slots that you can pick. And tell them what to do. They might have borrowed that from from Lords of, Manor Lords because Manor Lords the demo came out like a year and a half over a year and a half ago, and Fable them was like last year or less than last within the within the past year. adding a tavern is going to make a difference. If that's going to really help me with this missing slot here. I'm trying to get ale, but barley on this map is really hard. Let me show you. See how I have like no green barley on this map? Where's my other region? Yeah, I don't even get barley on that map either, so I'm kind of screwed on the barley making beer front. 
And according to this, my barley percent, my fertility is 19%. So I'm not going to get a high yield of awful barley. That's what's causing me to not get to the next level right now. To get to level 3, I have to uh, provide them the tavern supply of ale. So I can't upgrade to level 3 because I'm missing that requirement. This right here is a bug. And the bug is associated to this dumb saw pit uh, right here. It keeps bugging out on this one one. So that's that's what this this is. There are a couple of noticeable things that's that could be improved. I mean, I can't really say a whole lot to that only because the game's not even out yet and it's going into early access. There's a lot of things that's work in progress. And this is a, a gameplay footage, right? I am, I'm not making any reviews. I'm just pointing out little things here. That's all it is. What's this? Overall, though, I, I definitely enjoy some of the mechanics that's going on here. And he dies, right? This guy's Lennon. John Lennon. Oh my god, that guy's useless. Which house is this? This house, right? Joiner? The joiner's unhappy? Oh, the joiner's unhappy. His joiner is not getting enough food. Oh boy. So my biggest problem right now is food. I might not survive. My town's probably gonna wipe. I think what I should have done was set up my farming industry earlier. And set up the bread and get that going. Communal oven, right? Where's the oven? We have flour, right? Yeah, we have flour. We you don't need to work on this anymore. Flour doesn't do anything for me. So my bottleneck right now is what the food, right? Yeah, it's food. Oh my god, these bandits are stealing my shit. I can trade to the other side and give them some money. This is like trading within the region, right? Enables trading with with the visiting traveling merchant trade points and tra um, trading posts in other regions. Regional wealth currency is used for trading. When one when employed, one family member travels to the nearest possible destination to conduct trade, while the other family members help. Uh, manage the inventory. If needed, assigned families will automatically set up stalls on the market to sell import goods. Oh, let me see. Snapping? It doesn't snap to that side. Oh my god, okay. Alright, let's go with this. Log camp. Where's my forester?
And then herbs. You are getting herbs, right? I think I upgraded this to do herbs, too. I'm not out of stone or anything, right? No, it's just planks. Low on planks. Alright, so I do not have a disapproval anymore, right? I think we've managed to get enough variety of food being distributed. Still very low. We're hanging in there, though. We're hanging in there. What's the other side like? Man, this other side is just stocking up. Ridiculous amount of food. Oh, this is gonna increase, right? Oh, I get a separate development tree for the for each village. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting, huh? What do I decide on? I could go with this, but that means I have to have money to buy the backyard. I'm already limited. I'm going to go with that one because this region has rich, um, rich wild animals. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of hunting. I might as well just maximize my meat industry here. And then I'll probably just import the meat to this side over here. Trading post, right? What's the difference between that trading post and the other trading post? Wait, what's the difference between that trading post and the other trading post? Did I, did I do it wrong? Oh, I might have selected the wrong one. Pack station. Oh, I think I did it wrong, guys. God damn it. I screwed up. Damn it, it's supposed to be the... the pack station. Yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, I screwed up. That's the one I was trying to build. Pack station. Use this building to set up a barter connection and allow you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Employs mules to transport up to 20 goods per trip. Wonder if I need to set up that also on my other side. I guess I do, right? I might be able to funnel money over here and then sell the food back, right? 
Yeah, I could probably send meat back. And then get money over here and then establish veggies. That could work. Alright, let me uh, put my food away here. So BRB. Okay. Barter partner? Woodcutter. Let me take the woodcutter off. The Empire. <laughs> Barter Sen. Hopefully I can get I can barter for money, but we'll find out. Barter son. Oh, money is not on this list, guys. I can only exchange stuff with the other side. Yeah, I can't send and receive money, huh? I'm trying to get money here. I'm trying to get money to the other side. What's this called? Regional wealth. Yeah. I guess I only needed one trading station or something. Resources stolen by... Traders? Damn it. Or raiders, right? It's always this guy over here. You're a pain in my butt. You always need three different food items. Okay, berries, right? That's the season I need to... employ more berries. Berry workers. Clay furnace? I don't have anyone on the clay furnace. Oven person. Flowers out. What what year is this? This is the wheat year, right? Barley. Do I need Tanner right now? Yeah, I kind of do. No bloomery. Communal oven, no clay. I do need to keep the woodcutter's lodge going, right? Saw pit, I do need to keep that going, right? I can probably take this off. And then put more in the berries.
charcoal. Okay, we got three people that's also got stalls. Which is fine. Tavern, yeah, it doesn't look like the tavern's actually doing anything, because otherwise tavern need would go up. Yeah, so tavern need tavern doesn't do anything. Yeah, I wish I can do something about this guy though. We need meat basically. And now that guy will be happy a little bit. Yeah. Meat. Meat and eggs. Chicken. 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 Kentucky Fried Chicken. Chicken. All you guys are chickens. Yep, we need chicken farms. Increase the egg count, right? And then how's my development? I'm not even close to a development point. And I don't know if I should be increasing my food and... Alright, you know what? I will increase more housing. Let's increase more housing. Or do I want to add more homes here? I kind of want to add them around the, the church, right? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Two homes? Three homes. Three homes with a well? Well... Well... The well is right in the middle. That's kind of bad. We can do one large house. Big backyard. You know, let me go ahead and connect the roads first. Add the housing here. the other way around. Jesus. It always wants to go there, doesn't it? Huh. How about the other way around? Well, the well is kind of right there in the middle. Kind of annoying. Well, I have to because the underground water system. Right, hang on. I think I have to leave it there. Oh, no, I don't, actually. I can move the well. Onto this side of the street. It won't move because of the, uh, the, the well right here.
It's not gonna be a problem though, that's the thing. Yeah. I think it's just better to place it right here. Or let's just do that. I'm giving up like I guess farming field space for that, but that's okay. Water is important. We don't want people to catch on fire. Let's go. Let's move this along here. Stupid supply. Alright, cool. Three, right? I mean, that feel like you get more space that way than the other one. Sure. I guess those three more people. Three more home families, I mean. Three more families. What the hell? Our approval just drops. Yeah, we went from like 70% down. Food again. It's always food. Always food. Our planks is running low too. Jesus Christ. Cutters? Saw pins. Which one is this? Coal. Coal is off the charts. Coal is definitely off the charts. How's this coming along? Barley. Wheat. What's the crop percentage? Go with Fallow. What is this one? Sewing! Oh my god, it's gonna take a while. Like what, two years till we actually get barley? It's gonna be, be terrible. Chicken, right? Chicken. Alright, we'll let you have veggies. Oh wait, you're already set. Can't do anything about you. We have lots of veggies over there. you got for me. Approval rating is still low. You need eggs. Why are you not working? What's your deal? Oh, I, th I think I need mules. Oh. I got Okay. It's not gonna work. The other side can pay for it. This side I can't. This side can buy the meal. Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna give you flour, right? Bread, some bread. And then return. I want meat. Yes, I need more meat. 
What's bar value, 2x? What the hell does that mean? I have no idea what that means. It means I'm probably getting two times the the meat for every one piece of bread. I think that's what it is. I think that's my guess. Yeah, I think that's my guess. Meat probably is cheaper than bread. Or unless it's the other way around. Alright, so at least this guy is not having issues anymore. We're just waiting for somebody to move in. Yeah, we're just we're waiting for people to move in. Thank you for the follow there. Jero... Jero... Medicia... Medesia. Jerome... Jerome... Medesia. Jerome... Jerome... Decia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right or not. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Jerome Decia. Welcome, thank you for that. Let's see here. Do I switch over? I'm still at 48%, right? I mean, we don't, yeah, I think if once we get the bread, once we get the bread, we should be good, right? And I'll get another family to move in. I need a, wait, the saw pit is running, right, or no? Alright, so what I need... What I need is a trade... trading post, right? Oh, I need four logs. Jesus Christ. Alright, you can... Oh, you already... You did already stop. No food there. We already got 91 berries. Ah. Resource stolen by bandits. It's always rubber banding me off the screen because something is happening. Like, there, that is a glitch right there, right? I mean, I'm going up and down ASWD. Whenever I get, like, a bandit raid, my movement jerks while I'm moving. I'm noticing that. So that could be fixed. Timber, right? Timber! Alright, let's hit the T key. Go back and see what's going on with this side. Alright, so now I'm at 33. So somebody just must have moved in. So I've got 9 now. Getting better. We have a lot of fuel, huh? I think we just we need more family to sell it off. Nothing in there. What's my yield? 
it has to be 17, right? Or 15 minimum. My current yield is actually zero. What is the barley? I get two. Jesus Christ, I only get two this year. Barley is definitely not something that we can actually grow very effectively. I think what we're going to need to do is make money off of the wheat and then buy barley. There's no way we can grow our own barley. Definitely not possible. Yeah, barley is hmm, not going anywhere, right? Let's click on this. Take a look here. Yeah, this, this is not happening for barley. Who is rich on barley? The yellow guy, right? In the uncontested area. The uncontested area in the middle. Right here is rich on barley. I need to conquer this if I want beer, right? Yeah, let's see here. Do I have enough art military guys? You know, let me switch. Yeah, the notification does slag or jerk the game around a little bit. I do, I do notice that. Every time the, I get some notification, not necessarily bandits, everything kind of stops for it to like finish the notification. So I think this needs to be optimized somehow. Alright, my approval rating now is 60%, right? We actually now have an extra worker here. So this side actually got what it needs. The only problem is... I don't have any money. Remove the King's Road, right? This is the King's Road, right? Yeah. Can't remove King's Road. Alright, well, we'll just use that then. That's fine. That spot. So I need to trade whatever, what, planks, maybe? You have a lot of planks, right? That's usually the thing that I sell initially to get the money for the regional wealth. And then I use the regional wealth money to start buying shit in the backyard. At least that's so far my plan. That's my initial strategy for getting regional wealth. Once you get regional wealth up, or upgrade people's backyard, you make them happy. You want to get to level 2. I don't know if I, have, I can build a manor on the side, right? Can I build a manor or a lord? I can, huh? So I can set up a second administration office here. Required small village, though. Wait. I do have a small village. Oh, I guess it's probably the clay. Or the stone, right? The stone. I don't have the stones. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. Policy is available. Yes, yeah, so they also need to fix this too, because or add work on it, because I can't choose anything other than these two, and these two are the worst. I don't have rich deposit on my main town. 
For some reason, I can't switch between it. T? T? Runhaven? You know, so I can't choose policies here. This town doesn't have any policies. I guess what I could do in the main town is do the rationing, right? Yeah, I could do the rationing. Citizens skip every fifth meal. Reduces food consumption, decreases decreases approval. How much of an impact is that gonna be? Hmm. I don't think it makes a difference. I get a 5 yield, look at that. An 8 yield in 42 days. It's July, right? Alright, so how am I gonna process the, the thing? I need malt, right? Malt health. Totally useless. Oh my god, it's small enough. Oh no, it's not. It's a, uh, it's a uh, rectangle. Fresh meat! Get your fresh meat! It's like the butcher. Fresh meat. Alright, so we're now up to 10 months, right? Things are getting better. Much, much better. New mercenaries, sure. What's this hundred percent? Unemployment. Trade? Export? Minor trades? trying to get rid of my planks here then we'll get some money for this town to spend okay that's fine spend money recoup rebuild do I need to rebuild that now right planks let's we have shit tons of planks. Switch back to the other side. What was this? What's disconnected from major routes? Connect the building to the King's Road, otherwise travelers won't. Go. A little short leg there for some reason. Resource stolen by nearby bandits. That's terrible. Alright, we're gonna add another housing thingy. Oh. 
No. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I definitely want another house. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Music kind of reminds me of The Witcher. Alright, let's go with that. Four more housing spots on this side. Let's go back to the other town. Alright, so we're doing fine on this side. Alright, that's the eight. August. They're about to harvest soon, right? Harvest season. I have ores. I do have ores. Oh, shit. Oh, we- oh my god, we have a lot of food. Oh shit. Yeah, I need to do something about that. Hmm. I don't know what yet. I don't know what to do with that yet. How do I deal with the full capacity of the storage? Probably because no one is, is eating. Yeah, see? I hit up, and then a notification kicks in, and then my mouse just jumps, or my, my window just jumps to the far edges of my town border. I don't know why. Unless there was something else. No, see? When that popped up and as I was moving my my screen with the E key, it just slides all the way over here. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so the food probably went away, right? Food probably went away. Thirty-three, thirty-five, right? Thirty-five. Thirty-five families. Thirty-five homes. Alright, let's go back to Ron Haven here. Finally, we're making some money. Alright, so we're making money now, so we're good, right? So that means I can start making veggies in the backyard. Get more food variety. Alright, I need to get a stone pit somewhere. Yeah, there's like a rich deposit over here. So hopefully we'll get some stones there, and then we can start building a church. And we can do upgrades, right? What, what do you need for an upgrade? You need fuel stall and clothing supplies. And a church. Ten. 
Tanner Reed. Tanner Reed. What is that? Alright, that's fine. Thinking. Tannery. Sure, let's just stick that there. So that should give us some clothing. Tiki. Yeah, everything looks fine over here, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm getting tired. I really need to sleep. I've been up late. This is a good stopping point for me, so I, I really need some sleep. But yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Well, it's 9 hours and 28 minutes. And I'm going to return. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out today, guys. I really do need some sleep. Uh, so it's Friday evening, and I may not be streaming this weekend. We'll see. Depends on my schedule. Uh, I do still have to do my taxes. Um, so yeah, hope uh, you guys uh, enjoyed the, the stream. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you guys stick around, I'm going to find somebody to raid so you get some channel points here. Hey, thank you for that follow there, Bono Oaks. Or Von Oaks. Von Oaks. Thank you for that, Von Oaks. All right, guys. Have a, a great evening and uh, a great weekend. And don't forget to do your taxes if you live in the U.S. to do Monday. All right. I'll see you a bit.